Today's stream is dedicated to the loving memory of a member of my family that I lost this week. Cookie the cat gave me 18 years of love. Um, should be missed. Uh, people that have pets, they, they know that they're more than just a pet. They're part of the family and uh, I took her going pretty hard. So today's stream is in memory of Cookie the cat. What an awesome little pussycat you were. Hello everyone out there, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm about to ruin it by being really angry. Why aren't you dancing? Chris Star Music Channel, I see you there. Why aren't you dancing? Great spot, I know you're dancing. space with a tiny sun showtime hey i'm ftfe and welcome back to the channel that does the stupidity what god did to all of humanity after giving humanity free will then getting pissed off at the things that they did with that free will that he gave them um yeah, I don't believe any of that, but apparently that's what happened. So hello, welcome to another show on the FTFE channel. I am ecstatic that you're all here watching. Thank you very much out there in the internet's lands. Um, so yeah, as you saw at the beginning, um, I, I lost a member of my family. I lost Cookie Cat, this Cookie the Cat this week. Her full name was Cookalicious, my wife named her. Um, and uh, she, she died of natural causes in, in old age. Um, she'd been pretty ill the past month or so just, you know, coming to the end of her life. And uh, it was daily getting up, waiting for it to happen, waiting for her to pass. And um, got up the other day and it was very clear that that was going to be her last day. So uh, my wife literally held her in her arms uh, until she passed. Um, and then we buried her in the back garden. Um, so it's, it's very hard. People that don't have pets might not understand, but people that do have pets understand that Especially when you have a pet that lasts 18 years, they're, they're a part of you. Not, not just a part of your family, but a part of you. And I, I feel like a bit of me's gone. Um, and I, um, you know, it's no secret that I've got my mental health issues and um, I've been fighting them quite hard, but that, that gave me a bit of a kickback down a few pegs. So I, I, had to, I had to go and deal with that. It's been quite hard on all of us. Um, uh, so yeah, anyway, <clears throat> thank you everyone for being here. Tonight, uh, <laughs> appropriately, uh, we're going to go over to the MMM Discord server and um, I'm, I'm going to try and figure out why people like to worship an, an evil god. Um, it's not really a debate on is God real because, you know, there's about as much evidence for God as there is the flat earth or fairies at the bottom of my garden. That is no evidence that God is real. Um, but if God is real, then I've, I've got some problems with him. And, uh, you know, if God is real and I die uh, and I get to the pretty gates and I meet God, um, then we're fighting and I'm throwing the first punch. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all for being here. Uh, and let's go over and <laughs> probably have a dumpster fire tonight. 
He's got some very strong reasons. Greetings. All, all right. Welcome, Craig. Welcome, FTFE, to Medicinal Mass Media. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very good. Um, I first off want to give my apologies to the server for um, delaying the stream a few times. Um, and, you know, it's not just my timetable. It, it, it affects everybody. So I appreciate you guys working with me whilst I, uh, I dealt with the stuff that's been going on and, and allowing me to delay the stream until today. I, I very much appreciated the the ease that you made that you you gave this to me so uh thank you for that but let's get on with the show absolutely um how would you like to start this are you gonna give a declarative for the position of god or yeah are you, well are you one uh, yeah so i mean it's not really a an argument of is god is real because that's not an argument that we can really have right there's there's no evidence that god exists there's the same amount of evidence for god as there is for flat earth or the tooth fairy or you know um unicorns um so it's a pointless conversation to have is god real my position is that if god is real then he's evil and why does anybody worship him um and i would like to hear from the apologists here that would hold a different position because i hear so much from people that that worship god that he's good and he's love and you know it, it's all for the, the greater good and everything but that is complete and utter nonsense when you look at the world that we live in how can if god is good um why is there so much evil in the world why is there so much hate and suffering and pain why do we live on a planet that will kill us um at every turn if god made this world for us you know why are there flies that exist only by eating the eyes of children in africa why did my younger sister be the youngest person in europe to ever get diagnosed with multiple sclerosis why do i have to just just have to go through the suffering of losing a family member why if god is real and is all powerful and all knowing and has everything planned out does he have evil and suffering in this world the only logical conclusion from that if god is real is that he is also evil that's my position Are there any apologists here who might like to take up the um, take up I the game? I, I'm not an apologist per se, but I know how Christians think because I was born and raised a Seventh Day Adventist. I've heard their doctrine since since birth. Let me explain how they think. They think like this: You see, there's a text in the Bible that says, "Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and unto God's what is God's." What God is doing is showing the devil a certain amount of respect. He gives the level he gives the um Satan or evil freedom of choice, but only to a certain extent. And and after that, it's time's up for the devil eventually. That's why evil exists. That's why your sis your sister got multiple sclerosis, because he allowed the devil to give it to her. But yeah. maybe in the grand <laughs> scheme of things, he, he saw that 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 um her, her death <laughs> or would would um affect you or affect someone else in a certain way. Or maybe that she was a nice person and that he didn't want her to... Um, there's multiple explanations for why a Christian would believe why someone innocent would die. I mean, but basically it's because he's rendering Caesar what is Caesar's. I mean, that, that's complete nonsense when you look at the way the world works, right? Let's take, for instance, a single mother with no friends who's a crack, crack addict prostitute or something. Um, no one cares about her. No one really knows who she is. She gets pregnant, but because of the life she's living, both her and that child die in suffering. There's no good to come of that in any way, shape, or form. There's two people that suffered. There is an innocent child that might have been born for a few minutes and died because God allowed evil to be a thing. The point is that I know. if God allowed evil to be a thing, then all the evil that happens is God's fault, and he's fucking evil, right? <laughs> yeah, well, you're assuming death is evil. Is a presumption. No, I'm assuming well, suffering is evil. Um, death is well, a natural I thing in we can't you know death is the progression of life, but suffering is evil. The suffering that is imposed on people for no reason, if God is real and planned everything out, is evil. 
well well god allowed it to happen because maybe he deemed that she was didn't wasn't fit to live because if she lived a life so corrupt that she that she suffered like that if she if she lived righteous and she still suffered god still deemed it that it was her time to die maybe something worse would have happened to her later on maybe she would have gotten raped even harder or something or, or something like that or okay, tortured um the problem is that um, it, it is said that God plans everything out. Everything that happens is to God's design. God works in mysterious ways. That, you know, so it, it, God decided for her to have that life. God planned for her to have a life of suffering and loss and misery. And for that child to be born in a bathroom um, with no one around and die after a few minutes of cold and suffering on the floor. God decided that that was an okay thing to happen. Therefore, God is an evil fucking asshole. Uh, and there's no other yeah. like, you can't, there's no other way to look at that and to say God planned he allowed that and a good it. thing came of it, right? He allowed it. Not planned it. He no, knows no, no, the no. end he from beginning, it. but he's hands off. No, right. he knows. He knows. He's omniscient. Right. That's what that means. He's all knowing. Not he doesn't plan. He knows what's going to happen. He's hands off. He lets it happen. That's not he what, yeah, that's he not what renders... Christians say about God. God, God planned. That's not what I meant to say about God. Everything that happens or ever will happen is part of God's design. So he. Oh, the, this is a Christian so, against the world now. It, 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 no, uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, that is what the, the view of God is. It's not, God isn't hands off. It's said right. that God gave everyone free will, but it's also said that God planned every second of the universe out through, through time. God planned everything. God has a design. God is the one that said everything can happen. So if God is all powerful, right, then... He could have made Man, the universe. That's a lot in of claims, there, Craig. No, it's not a lot of claims. It's factual statements. Yeah, you just right? made a bunch of claims. You just, you just no, stuffed no, no, my no, mouth full of words. I didn't make any claims. I made factual statements. And if right, here's here's what it breaks down to. There, there's there's two options, right? If God Everybody. is real and He is all powerful, then He is not good. But if God is real, then He is not all powerful. Those the, those are the two options. He's either not all powerful or He's not all good. You can't so this have is your personal evil. conclusion. No, no, no. It's a no. fact. Evil happens in the world. God planned everything out. Therefore, God planned the evil. So if God mm. is all powerful, he could have planned the world with no evil. Yet he allowed evil to exist. Therefore, he is Wait. evil. Can I just God's evil. Can I evil. Can I okay. Guys, I'm the moderator. When I start speaking, can you please um, let me speak? Just quickly, Craig, you, you are talking a lot, which is making mm -hmm. it difficult for other people to contribute to the conversation. But Riggs, while he's talking, please don't interrupt. Okay. All right. I, I'm, I apologize. I am quite hell up today, and there will be me being angry, and this is something that's going to have to be dealt with today. But um, uh, there, there is... I, I would like that to be addressed, the thing that I have said specifically, and in, in, in the... If God is all powerful, then He is not all good. Though that is the only case. He is so all is, good. Is God? No, no, He's not all good because there's evil that exists, right? So I, is, I never is God all powerful? We can explain it. Like the, the, like the Again, question is: Is God all men? powerful? Yes or no? God did I not create evil, and that's your mistake. God actually, did not actually, create evil. There's, there's there's actually the, Bible, the, the Bible verse is actually Isaiah forty-five, uh, verse seven. Where it says, I am the Lord your God, I create light and I create darkness, I create good and I create evil, I the Lord your God do all these things. Uh-huh. So therefore God created evil. God created apparently the entire He did universe. not create evil. God that, did not create what that guy evil just read said it, God created evil. Like did you not fucking yeah, hear it? it? I just read the Bible verse. I, okay, gentlemen. <clears throat> um uh, so Solara said something, Craig responded, and as soon as you started responding, you got interrupted. That's not the way to go. Um, uh, he gets to respond, okay? Keep it short. Uh, right, so, yeah, as the Bible verse that was just read, God created all. Light, dark, good, evil. God created Satan, therefore God created all evil. So, the question is, and I just want this one question answered, I don't want any diversion, to the people that believe God is real, is God all good? 
Uh, sorry, no, wrong one question. Yes, is God he is. all power? The, sorry, the wrong question. Is God all powerful? Yes or no? Yes, he is. Yes, Therefore, he is. Therefore, he is not all good because he created evil. He created Lucifer, and Lucifer was the first to err, and that's the mystery of iniquity. How is it that that one angel at that time chose to be the first to sin and be jealous of God? That's the mystery, but only God knows the answer to that. That's how, that's how Adventists explain but, it. But hold on, let's go back to that Bible verse that was just read. I create the light, I create the dark, I create the good and the evil, I create all. Therefore, we can definitively say, because it's God's own words, that God created evil. Is that correct? Yes or no? Well, technically, You're yes. Right. And technically, no. One at a time, please. Oh. One, one, at a time, one at a time, gentlemen. So the first That's person who responded there. Um, it, you know, God Carly, created evil. Carly, you off you go. Well, God did not create evil, and God did not create the darkness, but he created good, and he created light, which the polar opposites are <clears throat> evil and darkness. So you disagree so, with the Bible verse? No, it's a different um, well, the, the Bible verse specifically of, says of that it. he creates light right. and dark, good and evil. So, I mean, do you yeah, agree with the Bible he, or not? But he created darkness and he <clears throat> created evil there we because go. of you. the polar opposites. Right of creating light and creating um good so right. you so the opposite of good or the lack of good is considered evil and the lack of light is considered darkness that's not what, the bible, what verse says. the bible verse literally says i create the light i create the dark i create the good i create the evil he doesn't create the good and leave a hole for the evil to be the bible verse literally states it and this is apparently god's words that he created the dark and he created the evil. So do you disagree Isaiah with that? Isaiah what? Isaiah Out what? Tell me the text. Sorry, go ahead, Danny. What is the text? Isaiah what? 45.7. Okay, can I say 45, something? 7. Let me say something real quick about this. I think the problem lies in the book is a 2,000-year-old book, and I don't think people always thought what the same way what people think nowadays about god where they think he's this all-loving god has not always been the way people thought of god years ago people used to think that god was not an all-loving god and that god would smite you for if you uh uh you know dumb evil things and that you were supposed to fear god because god was a uh he would use his wrath <clears throat> to get his way and, and things like, like that me, right? and and now yeah i'm not taking up for him but now <laughs> i think the problem is people look at him in a different light but they use the same text from 2000 years ago and they <laughs> I, don't uh, and they clash together i completely agree with you i 100% no, man, no. agree with everything you have said there people try to say that god is all good and loving but they forget that their fucking religion is about murdering everybody that disagrees with what they say let me explain the text. You guys are looking into only that one specific text, but you well, have to I compare to focus script on that one script text because those right. words are the words that I would like to focus Can on. Can I talk, please? Can yeah, I talk, Craig, please? You, you've interrupted him multiple times, please. Let him, yeah, let I, don't him wanna, I, don't, I really don't want this to turn into a Bible session, all right? The, I want the discussion I'm to just be about the is text God that you good or evil. Craig, I'm, Craig, explaining well, the text. I'm explaining Craig. the text. Well, Danny, just let me explain something. Um, to to suggest and you know to pick one text at one verse out of the Bible is completely unfair. The the Bible is a huge um, book. People will put different weights on different parts of the text. Off you go, Danny. Yeah, finally I get to talk. Verse six, just before verse seven, says that ye that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. And then it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make mm -hmm. peace and create evil. When it says he creates yeah. evil, it doesn't mean that he creates wrong. It's evil toward, like the devil thinks it's evil that the Lord wants what? to kill him. That that could be one possible explanation that of that text. No, 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 you're just no, putting I'm not. words. I'm not. It doesn't say that talk. anywhere. Let me talk. Right. Let me talk. He's let me talk, please. Up. I'm not He's finished. Just made let, me, up, let me talk, please. Let me talk, <laughs> please. Let me talk, 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 please. I'm not making it up. I'm not Craig, making it I'm, up. I'm telling you one possible explanation that that's that. No, no, you're, you're and you're you are making it up. He does not say that anywhere. You made that up. Okay. Can I talk, please? 
You did, and you made something up. Well, it's, it's, I heard it's you. Can I turn and continue? Can I continue? Oh, sorry. Are we having a sermon now, are we? I know he's angry. I know he's angry. Well, you, like, like, in the things that you just said there, the words that you literally said, repeated, okay, that he Craig, creates evil. If this is a debate and I am the moderator, please listen when I intervene. And I'm telling you, you have interrupted Danny about four or five times. Please don't. Let him speak. I understand you're angry, but let's step it back, okay? Yes, I'm explaining one possible explanation of that text, and you're sticking on a on an explanation that fits your way of thinking. Where does your and I'm telling you, and I'm t Craig. English, English, well, uh, English, understanding of English, understanding Wait. English. When he says he created evil, doesn't what? mean he created evil, evil, not actual wrongdoing he created. That's one possible explanation of that text. I'm sorry, another which possible language explanation. Are you speaking? That's not English. Man, you're, just, you're literally just making stuff up. It doesn't say any I'm of the things you said. No, what you're doing. Yes, it does. Right, yes, okay, it you, does. You, you, you had a, right, right, you spoke. I'm going to respond to the things that you have said there because it's all fucking absolute nonsense, apologist rubbish, right? Right. What? Right. Yeah, uh, right. Just, no, just no, before please. you go off, <laughs> just before you go off, a when flat earthers start out by saying what he said was just nonsense, um, we criticise them, okay, because they're pre-deciding. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the possible I'm, I'm, I'm many layers to that <laughs> text. What, what, oh. you just, what you just did was you added stuff to the text that isn't there. You've just ra put a random it interpretation on that text that isn't there. You've added words and meanings that are not there. I will look they at the are words. There. They, uh, no, uh, they, uh, no, they're not there. It doesn't say any of that thing you said. You just made yes, it that. Does. No, it doesn't. It literally doesn't. You are lying. Not only to me, but no, to the I'm fucking not. self. Let me yes, you are. Let me no, no, no. Let, let me, me fucking explain. Let me explain. Let me no, guys. let me okay. explain. Don't make me both of you. Okay, Danny, if you want to talk uninterrupted, don't um, don't interject while he's talking. Obviously, this is a passionate subject, but keep it short and keep it respectful. Be quiet while the other person is talking. Yeah, let me explain. All right. You read the words. You literally said the words creates evil. And then you went, that doesn't mean evil, evil. That's fucking ridiculous. That is just you being cognitive dissonance indoctrinated by a stupid cult to say that the things that it literally says in your stupid book doesn't say those things because you can put a different meaning on it if you want to no the words literally say that god created evil god created the dark every bit of evil that has ever happened in this world is by god's design by his own fucking words. And you can't deny that. And the fact that you want to apologize for all the evil shit in this world and say that your God allowed it to happen makes you as fucking bad as your evil shitty God. I, okay, Craig. Can I talk Craig. now? Yes, you, well, I just want to say for, for a minute, let's keep this respectful and let's not attack That's the person. That's about as respectful okay. as I'm going to get with this. I'm sorry. I, I, okay, well, just don't do that because I think Danny introduced himself as saying that he was going to present the argument, then it wasn't necessarily one that he himself supports. Um, so I feel sure, you're like he supports it. Yes, yeah, no, I know how to, I know how to um, placate people that believe in that. I'm I'm a, I'm a master of deception. I'm fooling you into believing, um, telling telling what I call liabilities, a contagious lie that that that's contagious in, in a way that it seems like the truth. So you're yeah, yeah I have to lying? I have to what? agree and say Danny's a poe. And just so acting admitting, like a jerk on purpose. Yeah, you're admitting um, that you're lying right now. Yeah, no, right, Danny, just I'm fuck off in this conversation, I'm please. I'm telling you how they think. I'm telling you yeah, how yeah, they Danny, think. Yeah, Danny, Danny, you're done in this conversation. Neck. You just admitted that you don't want an honest conversation, and you're just making shit up. So fuck off, and let me actually talk to you. I'm not making it up. I'm yeah, not you're, I'm done with you. I'm, I'm done not. with you. Move on. Craig, Craig, can I just can I just say something? Yeah, I wouldn't say God is evil. I would say God is the source of all evil. Well, well, that's yeah, not how he, Christians he think. It, 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 uh, okay, like, Danny, Danny you had, go away. Um, look, uh, uh, Craig, I, I'll, I'll handle it. Danny, you've had a, um, a decent um, input to this discussion, um, and let's let's let Dom Petit, let's let some other apologists talk to FTFE because that's what it's Hello. supposed to be. Up you go, Don. Yeah, I will try well, and recenter myself. Well, I apologize. My, 
my argument is FT. Um, what version are you speaking of? Like, what, what translation you uh, are the, you trying to dictate to us? Since I'm the one that actually brought up the verse, uh, that particular one that I brought up was uh, the King James Version. But I've heard this argument before, and we can even go back to the Hebrew translation of it, which still brings up darkness and calamity in place of evil. Right, but what's the opposite of good and what's the opposite of light? Uh, darkness um, so and evil. Just, so just because God created light and God created dark or evil, or God created light and God created good, the opposite of those are dark and evil. So did he create them on purpose or did he create them out of the... Um, being opposite. Of. Well, it, it kind of goes against the whole uh, other part of the omni thing, right? If yeah. if he was if he's omnipotent and all powerful, then why can't he have created a world that didn't have evil? And this this is my point. This is my point, right? Because um, then wait, God wait, would I, not be a jealous God. Point? Like you look at okay. Adam, like you look at Exodus and and all that, and God is evil. Yes, it nice. states, and he says it. He is a jealous God, so being jealous is um, a pro a product of evil, right? No, so, right. So we uh, all yeah, admit. It is. So so can we all agree that God is evil? No, no. Yes. Why not? God, we, we, we've God just defined. Evil, hold on, hold on. Right, let me speak for a sec, please. Right, we've just defined that God is a jealous God. We've just defined that God literally Disagree. creates. No, no, it literally says that. We just defined that God yes. literally Ag creates evil. Ag His own words 25. creates Exodus calamity. 25. He uh, creates the darkness. Uh, if sorry. God is all powerful, then God created the evil. If he didn't create the evil, then he is not all powerful. Which is it? You're arguing with the book. That's not no, what no, that I'm book arguing is about saying. God. That's not what that text is saying. Right, Danny, Danny, shut up and go away. He did create, he did create Danny, Lucifer. Danny, I don't know yeah. where Danny and somebody on your... Yeah, so, somebody do not yeah, undo the yeah, check the log. If I mean, I'm not going to him. him. Yeah, isn't it? You know, it's God powerful enough to create a stone that even he can't lift. If he is, then he's not all-powerful. If he can huh? create the stone that he can't lift, then he's not all-powerful. So either way, God is not all-powerful. Yeah, it's the omni paradox of the the attributes to God. There's, it's it's the omni paradox. Yeah, but the problem the problem I have is is with the statement that God created light and He created dark. Well, w was it not was everything not dark before He created the light? No, the, the darkness yeah, didn't exist because of the lackness. I mean, of the, the, light. the statement the statement that He created light must mean that everything was in darkness. So how can he create darkness if darkness already existed? Well, it and had that's the same because... argument with evil. If God did not create good, then there would be no evil. Um, in, incorrect. Uh, you can have good without evil. I, I no, did say if he was, no, if you he absolutely was, um, can. If God is all powerful, then he could have created a world with all good and no evil. If he couldn't do that, prove, then he's not it. powerful. Prove it. What are those conditions? Hey, 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 shut up. There's no such thing as fucking proof in a discussion with God. Hey, that you, word you does not claim, belong dude. here. Oh. Yeah, hey, right. you, you no, it, it, it's said a what simple God fact. Do. It's a simple fact. How could he do if that? God is all powerful. Right. Yeah. If God is all powerful, he can decide the laws of physics of the universe. He can decide everything. If God is all powerful, he could 100% create a universe where only good exists and no evil does. Otherwise, not he's true. Not you powerful. cannot have your. Let me cake interject. Oh, so he's, he's, not, he's not all powerful. Okay. Okay. Gentlemen, gentlemen, Riggs has turned to talk. Yeah, you cannot you have your cake and eat it too. Once you've had the cake, it is gone. You cannot have a cake and not and, yeah, and the, the, what, uh, that's not have a cake at the same time. Right. He's just talking about cakes. What's cakes got to do with anything? Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, well, use Craig. your brain. Okay, Craig, I, I you've got to, to interrupt uh, you. Please. I, want, I wanted to I want to interject for a second. Um, wait, wait, wait. It, no, let's go back to Riggs, please. Yeah, it, Riggs, did, it does appear. Wait, wait, Riggs, yeah, go Riggs for first, it. please. Riggs, sorry, Riggs, what, what were you saying about having a cake and eating it? Please go on. Yeah, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. 
If right. you've eaten your cake, Correct. the cake is gone. You cannot have both. No, I've still got my cake. You understand? I'm not it. it's, no, I'm still, you. Still what he's saying is, cake. you uh, cannot uh, eat a cake I, and still have a cake left in, over. Before someone well, else jumps let, in, let me can make I another example. You cannot turn the light on. Something can I respond? Darkness, guys. If you say something, let me respond. Craig. Craig, very emotional for you. Right. Yeah. So. Great to um, clarify what you mean. Yeah, so it, whatever you're saying about having your cake and eating it is literally the problem on your side. Um, you can't have your cake and eat it. You're right. You can't have a god that is all-powerful and all-good if evil exists in the universe. You are absolutely right, Riggs. You cannot have your fucking cake and eat it because your choices are god is all-powerful or he's not. And if he is all-powerful, he's an evil cunt. Which is it? Oh, you're putting words in my mouth. I never said God was only good. God had to create the conditions where good and bad could exist. So Otherwise, if you don't have bad, then good has no meaning. Incorrect. God could absolutely create a universe where good had its own meaning and evil doesn't exist. Otherwise, he's not an all-powerful God. Explain that. Explain that. Because God is all-powerful and can create whatever he wants, right? He can create the okay. universe. He did it in fucking seven days, which is pathetic. I don't God agree with that. Much better and you're, you're, five days. You're arguing heavily. with the book. That's not my position. Well, I'm just all, arguing about God. All so your do you, right, 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 what's I'm your talking position? about God. Right, I'm not talking on. about a religion. Hold on one sec. One sec. Okay, what's God your and religion are entirely let, separate. Let religion has no, nothing to let do with me this. Ask, we stop. Let me ask a question. What is your position? Did God create the universe, yes or no? God created the conditions. Okay, he created the system between one, I mean, between zero and ten. In order for ten to have value, you have to have the zero. You understand? Okay, I'll ask the question again. Did God create the universe, yes or no? Of course. Right. If, did God create everything in the universe, yes or no? Yes. Therefore, he created universe. Thank you very much. He created evil, right? No, he did not create evil. He also evil. created good, you just but told in order for good to have meaning, he, created everything he had in to the create universe. the other end. Evil exists in he, the he universe. He created the conditions. That, well, wait, no, no, no. no. You told me he created everything in the universe. Yes. Now you're contradicting himself. He created himself. the conditions, yes. No, everything. No, no. Did, he, did he create everything or did he create the conditions? Which one was it? Both. Well, okay, so he created everything. You've just admitted that. Therefore, he created evil. You can't have your cake and eat it. <laughs> evil does not exist. Evil 100% exists. Your argue no, it doesn't. It's absolutely only a it level of goodness. It does not. Okay, it's it's, evil it's absolutely only a exists. level of goodness. Right. How good can you be? The the lack of goodness does not mean it's evil. It just means that you're not as good as somebody else. You're wrong. Evil absolutely exists. No, it does not. Yeah, absolutely it's perception. Just, it's just, it, yeah, it's just perception. Just because you it's don't like the goodness. word, evil absolutely exists. There is evil in this world. There are evil people. There is evil things that evil people do. Because evil is a thing. And if God is real, no, he created it is not. evil. There are less good people than me, yes, because of my thought process and and how I treat the world and how I treat people that I know. Um, so are they going to treat the so same you're people saying morality is subjective. with the same aspects? No. So does that make them evil? No, it just makes them less good than me. So uh, it, it, you, you're saying that no action could ever be evil? Under certain, yeah. No, no, no. It's a yes or no question. Don't start putting yes. certain conditions under it. No. Are you saying? Uh, well, I said. Are you saying that no action yes, can absolutely. ever be evil? No, it cannot. So you think that no action ever could be evil? Correct. No, and the Bible states. Then it. you're fucked in the head. No, because everything. Yeah, you're fucked in the head. Every the Bible bad says evil deed. exists because the, the, the Bible says God created evil. Correct. Every bad deed can be forgiven. If you, um, by who? By God. I don't care if God forgives it. That doesn't affect what happens down here. Who gives a fuck if God forgives bad things? That's irrelevant. Well, then, to what if down here. you don't believe in God, then why would you believe in good and evil? Because good and evil. Because exist without there's God. just some people that are not as good, good and evil as others. existed before the concept. So, of God. at what level do we measure good and evil? There's evil things. At that, what level? You you know that, that someone's evil. You know that I What level evil. do we measure good and evil? Where is the line? The Where is the line that, that, that you draw that's good and evil? Raping someone is fucking evil. 
Do you... All right, are you saying that raping someone is not evil? Under my theology, yes. Well, then it would you be are considered. a fucking but... moron. And you should be locked up. Okay, Craig... Craig, please Thank don't just abuse your uh, you abuse. Oh, no, he, he just, he just said raping Durpin. someone's not evil, so therefore okay, no, Craig, it's not. Craig, no, I, did not. I said under my theology. You yes, see what the fucking be belief in the evil. evil God does to you? You Craig, think raping someone's not evil, you piece of fucking shit. I never I said, said that. Craig, you you just said that raping someone's not I evil. Said, yes, you literally under said my that. theology. It would be evil, but under certain other people's oh, theology, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, say that again. Did happens. you say it would be evil? Okay, Craig. I just uh, want to clarify. Please, you, 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 Craig, I just want you to clarify need to... what you said there. Did he say that it would be evil? No, yes, it would well, uh, be evil. Therefore, evil, evil I, exists. I would identify it. I, therefore, me, evil as exists. As a person, no. Evil exists, like, if you steal $5 worth of food, some people would consider that evil. The person that's stealing that $5 that worth of food is looking at fee feeding their children. So is it evil to them? No, but it's evil to everyone Nobody else. Nobody would think $5 of food is evil. We're talking about raping someone. Don't equate that to fucking $5 of food. You literally said well, that evil doesn't exist, and then you contradicted yourself evil by does saying... Not. That Evil but, but, does not exist. It's, you, it's you just a level is, of goodness. But, but, but you said raping someone is evil, so, you know, make up your fucking well, mind. Raping somebody... Well, I'm trying to um, dumb, dumb it down for you. No, so no, no. What you're trying to do is be an apologist right for an evil fucking piece of shit god. And that, no, that by they definition, makes you an evil piece me. of shit. Simple. They but, are less good right. than me. You okay. admitted that evil exists. Therefore, God created evil. Therefore, God is evil. Thank you. Everyone so far has admitted that God created evil. You're all doing my fucking job for me. Okay, Craig, okay, at this I, point, sorry. please do not just call your opponents evil, okay? Um, this is supposed to be constructive um, conversation between adults. And I understand that you're passionate about this, but don't just go around calling people evil pieces of shit. It's not constructive and it's just not polite. Right, you be it's it's a bit dickish if I'm being honest. Yeah, Does anybody I, I else understand, want to... but I, I yes, thoroughly I believe that his position there is a bit dickish. So I mean, I'm just I, I'm just oh, saying that's that I your thoroughly believe opinion, in his position. And that's yeah, it's fine a factual with me. statement. You you know, you don't think evil exists, and you know I don't. I just think that the, people are the, less good than me. But you also think that raping someone is evil, so you can't make up your fucking mind. Well, Next. no, I don't think they are. Um, evil, I think they're less good than me. So raping someone isn't evil? No. Okay. It's, but they are less good than but me. But you just so said it was. So if now we got to draw a line, where's that line? Oh, wait, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why are you Craig, changing your if mind? If we got to draw a line, where is the line why, we draw no, no, why to are you determine changing your good mind? and evil? Why are you changing your I'm mind? not changing my mind. You I'm absolutely trying are. To, you absolutely I'm are trying to mind. dumb this shit down. So no, you're you not. Understand. You're literally changing your mind. You said just now that raping someone is evil, but now you've just said that raping well, someone isn't evil. Well, evil under your terminology, yes, it it would be considered no, no, no. evil. Is it evil I don't or believe not? in yes evil, no? so it so for me it would be considered less than me because he's so, less so good you, than me because so he would actually that commit that. So you think raping someone isn't evil, correct? No, I don't because I don't oh, okay. believe in well, evil. Then I don't I'm believe sorry, in. Uh, then you are also evil. Well, that's as good as that. for your opinion. No, no, you think raping someone isn't evil. That makes you evil. Simple. Okay, oh. let's move this. I, I let's have move a, this conversation along. The, well, clearly, there's an impasse here. I have, I have a quick question for the guy who said, you know, that there's not evil. Then, if there's no evil, why do we have a word for it? Blood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of think that that's a that's an inane question because we have a word for unicorns, and unicorns don't exist. Um, that that can't really be. We can, understand can't really be we can understand a representation of a unicorn, so the word exists, right? So we have a representation of evil, therefore the word exists. So I mean, how can he continuously say it's not evil? Evil does not exist, but yet we can understand a representation for it and have a word for it. John, what's that? Sorry. Could you repeat your question, please, Solaris? What's the question? Well, how can you say there is no evil when we have a representation and word for evil and what we consider 
evil if the if, if that just, wouldn't exist right because it's just a definition for the lack of goodness is that the actual definition of evil yeah it's the lack of being good and what? at what and at what level do we um, measure goodness and evil at what level like yeah okay more morality will for every single person will be different like somebody will say that you know rape is evil murder is evil um somebody stealing a thousand dollars off somebody is evil somebody stealing five dollars off somebody is is not so evil but at what level do we measure that evil at I mean, if I replace the words that is used in the definition of evil with someone stealing $5 from me, it really wouldn't pan out the same way. Because it says the, the definition of evil is profoundly immoral and wicked. Um, so I would not think someone stealing $5 from me is profoundly immoral and wicked. But uh, theft is theft. Just say, so where's um, the line do we draw that at, right? Theft is theft. So if you steal off somebody, it doesn't matter how much you steal off them. Just because you it think evil. it's good because it's helping you, um, at what line do we draw it at? Well, we can oh, draw on, it on. at think, profoundly immoral and wicked. I think, I think it depends on the reasons behind the act that you're saying is evil. Right, so I think everybody agrees that rape is evil. Right, so do you agree murder is also evil? Pers personally, yes, and that's where right. okay. I right. okay. get right. my right. 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 Well, hold on, no, that, hold on, hold on. You answered the question, right? So we we both agree murder is evil, right? So now we have a situation where a man murders a rapist. So, is the man that murders the evil rapist, is he evil because he murdered the rapist? Yes. No. Yes. Well, ac we according that. to, well, if we're talking specifically about the Bible, then, yeah, because people, I mean, there's a mistranslation of thou shalt not kill, but what that actually originally was is thou shalt not murder. That's that's what that is. Because, so... God is saying thou that shalt not murder because he says murder is evil. But God does allow lawful killings. It's it's absolutely fine to kill somebody lawfully or for a reason that isn't considered murder, according to God. So is it is it No, absolutely not. Murder no, I, is murder no matter what. And uh, you wrong. can go through absolutely all those wrong. scriptures. Absolutely wrong. The the original scriptures say um, murder, not kill. Um, there's a difference between murdering somebody and killing somebody. A lawful execution is not classed as a murder. This is right. This is right. So therefore, well, God says it's okay to kill people. Well, that's the original translation. The original well, Hebrew tra the translations. The, the that's commandment the is thou shalt not murder, not thou shalt not kill. Well, I don't care. That's about the in the KGV. Who, that's who in the KGV the translation. Who, no, no, no. The the king the the King James version says thou shalt not kill, not thou shalt not murder. The original translations, the Hebrew, the original under certain language, circumstances, the KGV allows killing under um, religious wars, and that's where religion I mean, I was in the middle of can saying something, make but, yeah. arguments yeah, of yeah, Don, murdering. I, I was literally in the middle okay. of saying something. There. Let's 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 get let's. Okay, I allowed you to go backwards and forwards for a little bit, but FTFE was speaking. Let's con let's let him continue. Yeah. The King James version it was literally a king being vain and wanting it to talk about royalty and kingliness rather than godliness. So he took a bunch of words out and changed a bunch of stuff. Um, so let's talk about the actual original text where it specifically says, "Thou shall not murder," which is different. Okay. Agreed? No, nope, Don, Don's gone quiet now. No, well, I'm just listening. I, I was clearly asking for a response there. Yeah, I, I, I would never be able to tell because you would just keep talking. But I, I, okay, you, now you're just being a dick for no reason. No, you um, were talking with the same 
um, tone. I literally so I asked the question. Wait, and then you fucking put me down by sitting there saying, "Oh, well, there's no response." While well, you're while well, you're talking in the same tone, um, and not giving me any clues to an actual to looking for a response. Uh, well, I literally said okay, agreed well, with a question mark emphasis at the end. That's clearly for you to respond. Okay, let's let's not descend into this sort of childishness. Don, you were clearly given an opportunity to talk. I, do you have anything to say, or would you prefer not to? Well, what's the question now? I, I just wanted to clarify that we're not talking about the King James Version. We're talking about the original translation, which says, Thou shalt not murder. It, clear? Yeah? Agreed? Then show me the scripture. I mean, Wu's in the open chat put it up. Uh, yeah, saying, in Hebrew. Not kill is actually a mistranslation of the Hebrew. You shall not murder. Yeah. The two statements are not synonymous, yet many people in the world still use er uh, archaic but biblical translations with unfortunate bioethical consequences. So the original translation, as we just said, is thou shalt not murder. Don't ask me to show you the scripture when you can fucking look that up yourself. That is what it is. Okay. So well, it's is, your is it clear statement. That, so no, you no, got to no. prove your statement. It, 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 right. The statement's been proved. Someone has shown the text. All right. So we are going to go with thou shalt not murder. Is that clear? Agreed? Well, your definition of murder and my definition of murder are two totally different things. That's because you aren't using okay, the correct definition one. of murder. Don, at this point, um, I don't feel like you're being a constructive interlocutor. Almost every, almost every point that you've made comes down to the definition of evil, the definition of murder, the definition of that. Quite frankly, when somebody resorts to this in um, in debate tactics, it just shows that they're not actually operating in good faith. Does, are there any other apologists out there who might who might want to say something about this? To, to be fair, well, to just me, that because is the I'm kind making of standard an argument. argument. Yeah, that is doesn't mean I am, oh, wait, I hold, am on, acting... hold on, hold on, Don. That is the standard apologist position to try and change the definition of things to sue a, a, a particular thing that they want. So to be fair, he's just doing what all apologists do. Uh, that may be so, but um, I feel like we can have more constructive um, I mean, conversations. No, because you are trying Charlie wanted to, to bring something forth. Hold on, Don. Um, maybe take a backseat for a minute. Um, we can maybe move on to a different topic if this one's running the wheels but Callie had oh, something oh. you wanted to bring for all right thanks FTFV I wanted to ask you um so I'm just going to give you a really vague general kind of statement do you mm -hmm. believe human beings are suffering because they don't have the ability to fly shoot lasers out their eyes all these things that we think are like giving us ability and success and not suffering like a frog has to eat flies a human perceives that as suffering if I have to eat a fly every day to survive Sorry, did you just ask me if we're suffering because we're not Kryptonians? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I did say that. Well, no, Kryptonians suffer quite a lot. I mean, their entire planet was destroyed. I don't know where the Green Lantern of that sector was. Um, only three possibly survived, and all of them have had pretty horrific lives full of danger, oh, murder, I... loss of friends. So, yeah, um, the ability to fly and shoot lasers that arise would not get rid of suffering. Um, I don't really know what's got to do with anything, to be honest. At least five survived. Uh, it would depend if you're pre-crisis or not. The point I'm, the point I'm Superman, making... Superman, his cousin, and the three evil ones. Okay, let's oh, let right. Carly... No, you're, right. you're right, I forgot about Zod's um, minions. You are correct, five survived post-crisis as well. Well, unless we're talking about yeah, the can do it, then like... it's a whole lot more. Right, let's okay, there, let... <laughs> let's just let Carly get his point out, okay? Yeah, yeah. sorry, Carly, carry on. Right, like birds have abilities. Birds don't think they're suffering when they're like regurgitating worms or flat, flapping their wings. But a human can perceive themselves as, oh, my life sucks. I can't fly. I'm not a bird. That's a subjective perception of their own abilities. I know people that were in the mm -hmm. hospital dying and they like fight to stay alive, even though their whole life they were in pain. So, what? you know, the desire to live overrides any kind of suffering you would equate to being evil. I, I mean, that. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I spend every second of my life in agony, but I, I don't want to die. And my ability to my, my non ability to fly doesn't affect my level of suffering. I, I, I don't understand the, 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 the correlation between what, what you're saying here. Well, I would say like 
you know, when I get older, there might be a time where I might not be able to use my legs or my arms. I can't throw a ball as hard as I used to. Yeah, that's but that's not. I'm not going to equate that to me suffering. I think that people find ways to enjoy life even when they don't have all the abilities that maybe they wish they could. Wait, so, equating, so you think that... Well, um, well, we're talking about suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> all right, so let's look at me specifically here because I'm a good example here, right? I have a severe injury in both my left shoulder and my left knee that leaves me in agony every second of my life, all right? I suffer. I wake up in pain. I go to sleep in pain. Uh, I, you know, every second of my life, I am in absolute agony and I suffer, all right? That suffering is a real thing. It doesn't go away, but that doesn't change the fact that I can also have fun playing with my kids and stuff i mean that that doesn't take away the fact that i'm suffering i'm still suffering that doesn't stop i can also have enjoyment at the same time but i'm still suffering that you know one doesn't cancel out the other i agree i think suffering is real i would say that what causes suffering people perceive it as evil and i think just mm. you know we're, we're subject to perceiving these things in our lives as like levels of suffering but you know i just want to say again like the the frog loves eating flies like they enjoy that and i wouldn't so that's just a strange comparison um i mean uh, I don't well know. we love eating steak but and we oh, kill God, our animals to survive so it would be the same thing yeah i mean it doesn't take away the fact that suffering exists right i am in pain every day of my life so if god is real and god planned out the universe then god planned for me to be in this pain god planned for me to you know have every second of my life in, in agony so why did god do that to me why did god plan for that suffering to exist if god was all powerful and had the ability to do anything he want then i would I not live my life in pain I think that you inspire other people that are in pain to show them that they can still be successful and smart and strong and live with that pain. Thank you. I, I mean, you I give try. other people a lot of freaking faith and like staying alive, bro. That's actually awesome. Please, please don't be complimenting me right now because I'm uh, emotionally on the edge and it will probably send me over. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, then maybe I shouldn't ask this question. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, but um, uh, you know, in the moments when. Uh, you had your children. Well, weren't those the moments uh, with least suffering in your life? Um, no. <laughs> uh, the day. Let's talk about the day my son was born. Right. Um, yeah. It, it was. It was a, a pretty standard birth. Everything going up to the. the you know, it was fine. Um, it, it was maybe five, six hours of of pretty hard labor, and and she pushed out my son and. Um, I held him in my arms uh, uh, and then I noticed that all the doctors were rushing around me um, yeah. and my wife's machine was beeping like crazy and all of a sudden I actually rushed out of the room because my wife didn't stop bleeding and she was very close to dying, you know? Oh. So yeah, that was, I, I held my son in my arms for the first day, but that day was also full of pain and agony and suffering that the thought I might lose my wife. So uh, I might I... Yeah. Might I also Sorry. add that according to the Bible, um, that is the direct action of God. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I wanted to, um, I wanted to or uh, interject earlier when, of God. when somebody was saying that God couldn't create a perfect world, uh, isn't that what heaven is? Um, what? Well, what, why does why do we have to wait until we've done all the suffering to go to the perfect world? Why can that be here? And by my knowledge, there's no weed in heaven or alcohol. That doesn't sound not good. What about know. what about the Garden of Eden? That's yeah. basically the same, right? There's got to be there's got to be alcohol in heaven because I mean Jesus did say you know just don't drink to drunkenness. So I mean there's alcohol. Yeah, but the guy's blood was also made of wine or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so was the water. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I knew this would be an emotionally charged episode. I, I, um, I'm sorry for shouting at everyone. All right, I, I, um, the the past week has been hard for me emotionally. 
Um, and there's a lot of stuff that in the world I just don't understand why we have to go through and why we have to suffer if there is a God that is all powerful. It, 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 you know, I, I constantly get told by by flat earthers that the God created the universe. The, 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 you know, God created the flat earth. God is the one that gave us this perfect world. But this isn't a perfect world. I mean, if God created this world for us to live in, let's talk about Australia. Right? Why, why is there spiders with enough venom to kill a herd of elephants? You know, uh, why, why am I allergic to nuts and kiwis? Um, what, why is there areas of this planet that if you spend 30 minutes in, you will die, both hot and cold? You know, this world is not perfect for us by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, this is a pretty fucking hostile place for us to live. You know, so much can happen that will make us ill. We go out in the sun and we get cancer. You know, that's supposed to be our source of life. But it also can kill us quite easily. You know, rain, water, we need it. But it will also drown us and, and you know, end our life. <laughs> That's, that's one of the things I bring up, too, is the world itself. You know, they say, oh, look at this world. It's, you know, made just for us. When actually, it, the majority of the world is covered in water. We mm -hmm. can't live in water. And the mm -hmm. part of the land we only occupy a very small percentage of because it's the only habitable areas of the freaking land. Yeah, and you so, can't I mean, the water either. Is, it is completely hostile. It's a completely hostile world to us. Yeah, and, and you, yeah. You, you think places like the UK are, are, you know, habitable and nice, but there's so much of the UK you couldn't live on. You couldn't live in the moors, you know, uh, it, it, you know, you couldn't live in the Scottish Highlands at the top of the mountains and stuff. You know, there's, there's every country in this world will have places where you could not survive. You know, there's no way that if God exists, he would make such a horrific place for us to live that could kill us at the drop of a hat it just doesn't make any sense to me well that's because you haven't read the bible properly oh i have that's why i'm not <laughs> christian <laughs> we are that's all the exact punished. reason i am not religious is because i have read the bible the quran um the hindu texts uh, you know maybe i could possibly be a buddhist right reading a lot of the buddhist texts but you know, that's less to do with religion and more of a way of thinking. But the so reason, the specific you... reason I'm not a Christian is because I fucking read the Bible. <laughs> well, do you not understand that we're all being punished? Well, therefore, God's evil. Well, God is a jealous God. Yeah, so he's evil. As long well, as we, as under long as your we understand terminology that. of evil, because, well, <laughs> your definition of evil and my definition of, of evil is... Can we not go evil. back to we, plain uh, words? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you don't have that. the right definition but, of evil, that's your problem. But, did, yeah, okay, God is not as good as the Bible likes to dictate, right? Or God is not as good as the Christians like to dictate. Why not? Well, you let's find words your own way. They've got a meaning, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, let me, why is it not good? I read the definition of evil. Yeah. yeah, let me impose a let me impose a, um, a a a topic of discussion. God is not as good a person as I am. No, PhD Tony. If there's someone to worship, PhD Tony, obviously. Right? <laughs> That's not what I'm oh. saying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I am starting the Church of Tony, and everyone should join. <laughs> I would have to agree with you, Tony. God is not as good as I am. I mean, I, <laughs> that is something I definitely I would have to agree with. A question for you, Don. I mean, if you had the powers of God right now, could you think of anything in the world that you might, as having the powers of God, want to fix or be able to prevent or anything of the sort? Absolutely. And that's so why I am already, better. And, you are and already that's why already I just sat there and agreed with Tony that I am better than God. You are already more moral than God, yes. Yeah, exactly. So my question uh, is... There, like, there is a lot of people that are a lot moral than God because God is evil. Or as yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, FT definitely. would say, God is evil or not as good as a lot of people in this world. Right. So if that's the case... Why does anybody worship God? Bingo. I mean, right. Let, let's say for a minute it's out of fear. I'm not going to worship someone because I'm afraid of them. I'm going to hate them. 
I'm, I'm going to absolutely despise them. I will not worship them. You know, if, if aliens invaded Earth today that were infinitely more powerful than us and said, you will all bow down to me and worship me, I wouldn't. I would never worship well, them because they told me to worship them. Why would you worship someone evil like that? I just don't understand. Well, you get into that argument of your creator. He created you, right? Um, It's just like my family. Like, okay, you want to get into darkness, FT? The day I, I was born, my whole enti entire life was dark. Like, I've seen um what you would consider evil my whole entire life. But I still will love my father no matter what he did to me, no matter what he, um, the tortures he put me through my Why? whole entire life, no matter what, because he was my creator, right? And? It's, so and what? most so, no. religious people no. are the same way. No yeah, matter why? what he does to you, they will honor their creator. Why? I, I, I don't. No, I, I don't well, understand. Right. Some, if someone created me with the knowledge that I am suffering, I would hate that creator. Exactly. I mean, that that's literally the reason every Robot Uprising movie ever happens, is because robots realize their creators are fucking assholes and then rise against them, right? And I, people laugh at me when I say this, especially Christians, right? But this is an outright fact. That if God is real, if God is real, and that's a big if, and I meet him, we are fighting, and I am throwing the first punch. It's as simple as that. Well, that would be ridiculous because your suffering may have been self-induced or man-made. No, so God, God, God made it. God, God created the universe. Life. God created yeah. the universe and everything in it. Uh, I don't believe that for one second. Well, then what you believe that God is a puny God, God then, God. right? Uh, no, that's nothing to do with what I'm saying at all. That is not my position. Please don't put words in my mouth. Well, Please. is God all powerful okay. or not? Okay. Uh, um, as far as I'm concerned, the God that created this earth definitely would be all powerful. This earth, whether right, well, he's going to come back down to actually, but maybe allowed to finish. If whether, whether he's going to come back down to rescue us, that's another thing. I'm not looking for God to rescue me at all. Right. I'm so glad that, for the life oh, I've okay, been so given. Sorry. And we need to correct anything that's going wrong here on Earth is man-made. Right. Okay. But you just said that God is all-powerful. Um, and that means that he could, if he wanted, not have any suffering in the universe. But he chooses um, to allow that to exist because he's all-powerful. That's not... That's That would be your interpretation. That's you. That's not my Well, no, no. You said he's all-powerful. All Those were your words, not mine. It's not my position. It is not my position. Okay? Is it your position that he's all-powerful or not? I'm sorry, I'm confused. What, what, is it your position your, he's all-powerful or not? you are supposing, your supposition is not my position. Wait, no, no. I'm okay. confused. Is it your position that he's all-powerful or not? Craig? Craig? Uh, obviously, oh. when I look around me at the magnificence of the earth that I see with every living facet animals, things that I can't see with my eyeballs, that's a lot of power and creativity, okay? That's what I'm talking about, the what? essence of life. It's a simple question, so, yes or no, is God all-powerful? I, I answered that question, I said yes, all-powerful. Well, powerful. therefore he created all, he could have, if God is all-powerful, then he could, if he wanted, have no suffering in the universe. I but, have no idea of that. I, I cannot subscribe to that. Well, you said he's all-powerful, so that's your own words. Yes, all-powerful, but regarding him coming here to come and help us, I don't know. Oh, so he's not yeah, all-powerful then? Oh, I, again, I, I cannot agree with that. Again, it's I mean, he's either all-powerful or he isn't. Which hang one on, is it here? Hang on. Please allow me to speak because I'm allowing you to speak. Now, my position is when I look at what's been created for us to live on, the flat earth, and everything with it, that's I mean, the Earth's beautiful. not flat. It's flat anyway, for sure. It's definitely no, not. No garbage, none of that. But it certainly is. Certainly is. And anyway, that's the gift of life he gave us. Why did he create such a shitty place for us then? Okay. Anything going, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're interrupting again. Anything going wrong on this earth is man-made. Carry on. Can I, can I, can I wait, wait, say let me something? Respond first. Let me respond first, please. Let me respond first. Sure, sure. So, um, so Jin, what you're doing there is saying he's all powerful, except he's not really all powerful. Um, and then you also said that you made this wonderful earth for us, except 
this earth, as I just explained, is a horrible, horrific place for us to live that would kill us at the drop of a hat. Why did he create no, this world not for us to all. kill us? Really? Not no. at all. Not at all. You not think that this all. world can kill us at the drop of a hat? You don't understand, Craig, that we are being punished. No, no, no. no I, I, our I, ancestors again, did. if we are being punished, then God is evil. That, that's, that's my whole point. Don, this was an exchange between Jin and FTFE. You, you, you can talk later. Let's let them talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, 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 my position is God has created itself. It's beautiful. What's going on on it? Wars, deaths that are unnecessary. That's man-made. I'm not looking for God to help me out here. I am being thankful for the life I, I have, and I'm trying to educate people that I meet that the earth is flat. It's yes, not. we're living under. Don't lie to people. I'm, if I may be finished, if I may finish, right? We're living on a flat earth. We're under we're tyranny, dictatorship, and slavery. Okay, and that's our job to get that sorted out because we are allowing that to happen. We are not. No, God, God is because he's all powerful down. according to you. I'm nearly there. I'm ten more seconds. Literally less than ten seconds. God mean. is not going to come down and help us, and we're not to be looking for that. I'm finished. Yeah, it's because God's not real. You're right. Okay. Craig can, Craig, can I say something? Yeah, please. Jin, can you please refrain from bringing Flat Earth into it? The topic of the debate, the topic of the discussion is, is God evil? That's the debate for today. The shape of the Earth has nothing to do with it. Please don't reference it. Off you go, Craig. Yeah, so whether the Earth is flat or a globe or not, it is irrelevant. The, the, if God created this world for us, then he created a world that isn't very good for us he created a world that will kill us if we go outside and spend too long in the sun he created a world where the majority of it is completely inhospitable to us so no. why would why would god create a world for us that isn't that suitable for us because he gave you rules to live by yeah yeah that's a good why? point rules to live by but not but not, not only that he gave you the common sense to know that stay in the sun too long, you may end up with blistering skin and it could lead, could lead to skin cancer, could lead. So obviously you don't go to that extreme, okay? Yeah, we're, we're You free. have your senses. But if God's we're so powerful, on. then why did he make the sun give, have the ability to give us cancer? That's, That's a pretty the way God created it. You would have to take that up with God. You would oh, have so he's, to take yeah, that so up he's evil, God. right? So God had the have ability to the sun no, to give us cancer, not therefore he's evil. No, it's not evil at all. I would not... God's I, definitely evil. I have, I have a question. Oh, wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Does, does everybody get cancer? Uh, no, no. I, I, oh, some, I'm saying that it could lead. Yeah, right, anyway, could uh, lead. PhD some Tony had a question. Yeah. Please let um, him, him ask. Okay. So, yeah, where ahead. in the Bible does God explain to people that um, staying out in the sun causes cancer, or did humans have to work that out for themselves, and did it take them many centuries? Yeah, it, it, I would have to say that's a great question. And it was humans who actually, obviously, because people had the ailments, didn't they? Okay. So, you know what uh, you remind may, me may of? May I ask? Uh, what, what's that? Um, what, you know, what, what's that thing called where you, like, you start liking your, your, your captor? What, what, what's that called? Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, I'm not captured. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah me, that's exactly what, this, what, the way you're talking, Jin, is exactly like that. Like, you're in love I'm with the person. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me finish. The, the way that you are talking yeah. is that you are happy and content with the way that somebody is torturing you. That's that's a mental problem. It, it, well, excuse me. I, I, I yeah. find that absolutely ab abhorrent to the extreme. You would put me in a position where, why would you say I'm being tortured? Who's torturing me? You're dying slowly. Uh, who's torturing me? Well, if God's real, he is. Who, who is torturing me? God's not torturing me. If God's real, he, he is, yeah. Excuse me, look, can you refrain from postulating your negativity about God in my position? Please don't do that. Now, okay? are, are, are you, look, are you listen, slowly listen, dying? Yes listen or no? clearly now. Okay, I, I'm trying to speak. Oh, look, moderator, I'm trying to speak. Can we control this? Thank Jen, you. Are, now, you, are you slowly right. dying? Yes or no? Craig, it's, it's okay, I've muted. You know, so, Craig, please, 
he, he is in the middle of making a point. Please let him get it out. Um, you know, it, it's... Thank you. It, Thank you. Okay, off you go, Jim. Thank you. Desist from putting your negativity about God into my position. I am not being tortured. I am grateful for the life that I've been given through my parents. Okay, because that's how I came from my parents. Realizing that this earth wasn't made by man is understandable. There are certain ways we have to live, and I'm trying to adhere to that. Okay, things are going on on earth that are man-made, and me personally, I'm not looking up to God to come and rescue me from the tyranny that is man-made or the slavery or the imprisonment on this earth. That's where the problems come from the governments that stuck. I've never voted, but other people voted for and okay, handed their trust now. to. And it's okay, been, seen, uh, the nearly point? there. I am near the next 15 seconds. The, yeah, okay, uh, no, I'm done listening. It's my turn to talk I'm, now. I'm trying to make my point. I am trying to make my point. Well, get on way, with I'm it then. Okay, I'm trying to be concise. Okay, I'm, to be concise. I'm moving as fast as I can. Okay. 15 seconds. Do you want to give me... Okay, Just stop rambling seconds. and get on with it. I'm not rambling. You are attacking me and I'm not rambling. Shut your fucking mouth. Right, my turn to finish. talk now. Thank you. Yeah, my I turn know, to talk you, now. You interrupted me. I no, my turn to talk now. You're done. Saying. My turn to my talk main now. Point is this. Yeah, my turn my to talk main... now. Okay, both gentlemen. Um, uh, you know, you're both interrupting one another. Craig, if you hadn't interrupted him, he could have finished his point in another 15 seconds and it would have been okay. Um, uh, just improve the, improve the standards here. I understand that it's a frustrating conversation, but we're going to let Craig respond now because Jin's had three opportunities to respond and he's chosen instead to whine. So we'll let Craig no, go. No, I'm not whining at all. Yeah. I'm, so, trying, um, I'm trying to... I've just got one question for you, Jin. Yes or no, are you slowly dying? I am dying very, very slowly indeed, because that is the inevitability of life. Right. Okay. Depending so, therefore, you your life, I, I don't finished. need to go on. Can it, I it, was, it was a yes or no question, and you've answered. That. Now, can let I, me continue. <laughs> it was a yes or no question, Jin. So, let me let me continue. Right. You've answered yes. You are slowly dying. Therefore, God, according to you, is making you slowly die. That's fucking torture. <clears throat> Excuse me. You see what I mean, moderator? You are not um, allowing me to what I got to okay. say. I'm trying to speak concisely. The thing is, I'm okay, Jim. I have muted you. Um, now uh, you will. Um, you you have a tendency to talk on and on. And Craig asked you a yes or no question. I gave you some latitude to answer it, um, and you didn't stop. Okay. Um, Craig asking you a question so that he can move on to his next point is not an invitation for you to derail the conversation. You get to answer the question and then the conversation moves on. Okay? I resent, I resent, I resent, I resent the idea that I'm derailing the conversation when I'm trying to answer the question my way, and that is this. I'm dying very slowly because I'm maintaining my health. It's an inevitability of life that you will die. Depending on how you live your life depends right. on how quickly you die. Finish. That's what why? I if say. God's all powerful, why do you have to die? God didn't give us eternity to live on this earth. Why not? If why he's not? all powerful, why not? That's God's choice. Go and ask God. So, so, Go so, what you're saying is that I, God planned for that. us to slowly die. Correct. Correct. Right. Well, so what you're saying is that you are quite happy to worship someone that planned for you to slowly die. That's Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't worship. I don't worship as you put it. I acknowledge there's a creator. I th I give thanks from time to time. But I do not worship. But I do understand what life means uh, regarding my life on earth and how much time I've got to live. That is fully understandable and I'm trying to extract the most whilst being as positive I can on the earth. Okay, so as long, as long as we all agree that you are quite happy with God creating you, that you will slowly die. So you're, you're fine with being tortured. I have Stop no worries syndrome. about that at all. Right, cool. No worries. So, so I, I mean, no, so I you're, you, uh, so you're in the agreement with me that God is evil. I would, I would, cool, no worries. Jim? I would rather you not insult my position. Well, no, no, because you've just you've just made your position very clear for me. You are quite Craig. happy with God being evil. I'm no, no, but, yeah, but you're Craig, insulting my position. Please let him talk. 
Gene, off you go. Uh, you're, ins you're insulting my position. That's what I'm saying. And I'd rather you not do that. I'm not insulting your position. You don't think that's a god. That's your business. Live your that's life as you will. I'm good. That, I, that's know not the, I know there's a great I, Can I finish? Can I not finish? Look, I'm going to need at least 30 seconds to articulate. At least 30 seconds. Okay, I was just saying Do that, that if that God's answer? existence no, is not no, the topic no, of conversation. Please. Craig, can Please you refrain? Yeah, yeah, no, I was Please just clarifying what something. I'm Please let me finish what I'm saying. Don't yeah, just Craig, get on with you. it. Come on. Don't just say, let me finish what I'm saying. Okay? Yeah, come on, Thank get you. on with it. Please. Now, all I'm trying to say to you, Craig. all I'm trying to say to you, you're still talking, moderator. Why don't you mute him, moderator? Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just waiting same. for you to get on can with it. Can you do the same, please? I get muted. Thank you. Yes, and you're being muted again. Now, Craig... Every time he starts talking, you're interrupting him. He responds negatively, and it derails the conversation. And then when I say, when I say, please don't interrupt me, you've got to get the last word in, justifying why you just interrupted him. Either I'm the moderator or I'm not. If I'm the moderator, please listen to me when I say don't interrupt him. If I'm not the moderator, okay, I can fuck off and I can do better things with my time. Me. Yeah, I don't like being muted, but there you go. Now, as I was saying, God, I'm I'm satisfied with the life that God's give us to live. That's all, and I don't I don't knock your position. Your position is yours. That's fine. Okay, I'm not going to insult you for that. That's your position. My position is mine. Please don't insult my position. That's what I'm saying. I'm finished. Yeah, and I, I didn't insult your position, Jin. I clarified your position. You are perfectly happy to have a god that created you and tortures you until you die. I'm, I'm, I agree with you. God's evil. Congratulations. We no, are on that's the same not. Page. Excuse me. Okay, I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. No, I'm just saying. You I finish? agree with you. We are on the same page. God yeah, is on. evil have and you tortures finished? you until you die. Yeah. Right. I'm, have I'm, you I'm, finished? I, I, I feel this like I, I feel like our well, conversation is finished because we agree. Craig. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. It's not finished. It's not finished at all because God isn't torturing me. Okay, please refrain from using that. I don't know where you get. No. <laughs> okay, um, Jim, um, it's okay for somebody to rephrase what you said to um, in their um, in their view. That's what a debate slash discussion is. Okay. They are going to take and uh, they are going to take and adapt what you say. It's part and parcel of conversation. I, I get where you're coming yeah, from. Then but yeah, but then he must. I must be allowed to recorrect what they're saying because out of my everybody, God is not talking to me at all. I'm not being tortured by God. Yeah, no, Gene, I can't hear you Thankfully. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. While I mean, Jin Sorry, go on to me. While Jin sorts out his while Jin sorts out his problems, um, is there are there any other apologists who'd like to like to make a point or say something? No, but I would like to make a point. <coughs> okay. I'm, I'm not Carry an on. apologist, I mean, sorry. Uh, thank That's you. Okay. Um uh, for for FTV and all the other, uh, I, I would say God uh, believers and uh, especially a Jin uh, from what I've I, gathered I so far. No, I know, I know you you don't believe, <laughs> but I, I, I'm I'm addressing you and uh, the others who do oh, right, believe okay, in God. I right, I, I don't believe in God myself, so so it's okay. Um, one question about um, the why do we ascribe all the good things that happen to God? Or why do the God believers do so? But every time something evil happens, like war, famine, cancer, uh, you name it, it's it's always an excuse to not ascribe it to God. Good for question. whatever reason. Mysterious. Right? It's, it's it's like the ultimate cherry picking, in my say? opinion. Mm -hmm. Can I can I can I ask a question, or I'll, I'll wait my turn if not? No, it, 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 it's it's open, um, so you can ask. You still okay, well, basically, a basically, the decisions to go to war are related, except leaders may say it's going to be a Christian war, for example, and we're going to spread democracy and Christianity, whatever. That does happen. Uh, it may. It's hard to understand. God yeah. may. Yeah, yeah. Jen, if you could please go away five minutes and sort out your mic and then maybe to rejoin the conversation, because right now we can't hear a word you're saying. Okay. Right. Can, can I just take uh, one no. minute, Tony, um, and say okay. I, I apologize to you. I 
I am on emotional tender hooks. All right, please don't take the way I'm acting in any. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, be shitty. I am just really struggling with my emotions, and this is a, a heated discussion. So, Tony, I do apologize. Yeah. I do not mean to step on your toes as moderator. Okay. Not, not at all. I, 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 I'm not taking it personally. I'm just trying to get some ground rules involved here, and I know that I know that I upset a lot of your viewers um, with the way I moderate. Um, sorry for that. No, anyway. No, 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 I don't apologize for what you do, but you honestly think you're doing wrong. Oh, I apologize uh, a lot of the time. I generally think I'm doing it's a, one of the one of the burdens of being raised Catholic. Do, do, does, does anybody else have any questions or topics they want to bring up? Kind of. Okay, go. I posted a part of a book. I'll just quote this last little phrase on the last page. It says, what comes into existence can also go out of existence. The thing about being a thing, you are limited. If you can begin to be, it follows that you can also cease to be. So, you know, we, we like to consider that death is what causes suffering, but it's inevitable. So to be alive is to suffer and whatever, man, you can make the best of that if you want. Why? What? Why does? I mean, again, if God is all powerful, why did He make life suffering? That sounds like an asshole thing to do, isn't it? Though. So the yeah. passage I read from is a, is a story about pretty much Saturn, which is like crazy. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm pretty sure Brenda wanted to say something. Yeah, yeah Brenda. Is... Brenda is the next one up. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm going uh, to take... wanted... have a smoke. Calm down. <laughs> have a smoke. Uh, uh, I just wanted to ask the uh, apologists, um, does, according, part of the problem with this one is that not all, not everybody in here believes in the Christian God. Um, but does every event have a purpose under your concept of God? Any Anybody can speak up. Yeah, There's Jim, no coincidence. In Don, sorry, Don, please, please repeat. Yourself. There is no coincidence. Every, everything has a purpose. I either it be good or evil. Whatever you guys you know want to take from that, everything is has a purpose. There is okay. absolutely no coincidence. Can right. I ask a follow-up question, Don? Would you say that your position is typical of all Christians? I'm not Christian. Okay. Carry on, Brenda. Well, does... Uh, so then, if every event has a purpose, then everything that happens... Nothing happens that ought not to happen, then, correct? Exactly. Everything happens for a reason. Right. So there is no evil. Because evil is that which ought not to happen. But if every event has a purpose, right... And no, nothing happens which ought not to happen, which is evil. Then there can be no evil. What? what but, but evil things do happen, don't they? Well, that would be the re refutation of your God, then, right? Right. Or if, based on if, on our knowledge of goodness. Yeah, that would well, be that would be the opposite of good. That would be the opposite but, of good, and that would be man-made. That evil was man-made. Isn't evil that which ought not to happen? Well, look. Let me give you a scenario. Allow me twenty seconds to articulate it. Made a drug. It knew it was going to cause heart attacks, but they said when we work out the amount of deaths, we can make enough money to pay the fine. Let's go with it. Well, so they, so well, this is on God. Hang on. on. Hang, hang on. on. Do that. Gene, Gene Hardy Hardy got two seconds to that. Drug. Gene. He's talking about... He's, yeah, don't do that bullshit. Um, okay. Can I... That's I'm trying to bring it to a TOS violation conversation. I'm just not a fan of that. Okay, that's a good point, like Dean. I thank you for thank you for pointing that out. Well, when uh, nature does Jen, something that causes a lot of suffering, we don't call it evil, like a, like a hurricane and then a flood. Like, we don't call the flood evil, do we? We well, can call the match of though. 
Yeah, if God no, because that's natural, that flood, isn't it? It's wait, a natural hold disaster. Hold on, let me let me, let me answer that, please. So, um, it, again, if God planned everything out, then God planned those natural disasters. They are an act of God. That's how they're defined it in insurance terms. It literally is an act of God. Therefore, if it is a planned action, then yes, it's evil. Or basically, my argument is everything has a if everything has every event has a purpose, and nothing happens which ought not to happen, right? And we understand that evil is that which ought not to happen. Then there can be no evil if everything has a purpose. Um. Well, th that's. I'm sorry. I'm gonna write it. I disagree with that. There can be evil. And, it, and the evil will not have a true purpose in that point in time. So because something can happen doesn't mean it should at that very point. Oh, okay. So you're just right rejecting now, the really first... To say that yeah, you're know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, you're just rejecting the first premise, which is that everything has a purpose. Some things don't have a purpose. I don't even want to defend that, though. Right. Um, I just want to respond okay. to something that Danny's saying in the chat quickly, if that's all right. So Danny's going on, um, I give up. FTFE is bias. He hates God. I don't hate God because I don't think that God exists. If God is real, then yes, I would hate him because he's evil. Um, and yes, I am biased because it's clear that if God is real, he, he is evil. And that's a very strong bias to have. But I don't think God's real. So I, I don't have a bias. I just, if he is real, then... Then he's got some fucking explaining to do. Okay, it's like, it's like hating the Loch Ness monster. Oh, so, well, I was born so, under the Islamic. Uh, if I could get in there, I was born under the Islamic religion. Uh, although I don't practice it that often, but I do occasionally. Um, I'm not a very religious person myself, anyway. But uh, when I look around me and I look at the earth uh, and and its bounty and its beauty, I know that it's not man-made. I do feel though that we human beings are the custodians. We are to maintain this earth. Uh, for future generations, because that's the skill we have. That's all I've got to say. Does God mm -hmm. have a purpose for everything, Jen? Hmm. Well, no. If if God that's created the earth, I'll answer it like and, this. Well, let me finish speaking first. If God had, if God created the earth and God loves the earth so much, then why are men the custodians of the earth? Why is not God the custodian of the earth? Well, I think that's a part of our, our test, isn't it? Because if we want to survive on the earth, use our common sense, all nature where we can, so we can actually exist on it and keep it in pristine, not to destroy what we didn't make, that kind of thing. So that's could, the could we destroy it though? Could we destroy it, Jen? We can. Well, we can't destroy it. But when I say destroy it wastefully, I'll give you an example. Right, right. We can pollute, right? We can pollute. Hang on. Still talking. Please, trying to get it out there. Yeah. That's why all your fresh water fish with mercury. Jin, sorry, your mic's just roboting, dude. We can't hear what you're saying. Right. So we can destroy the earth. We can drop enough nukes to destroy the earth. We can pollute the earth, right? So we can, we are stronger than God. We can, we can go against God's purpose for the earth. I, I think the earth will clean itself, but we can damage it to harm ourselves currently. Okay, that's true, and that's what's happening. We could, we could irradiate the whole earth. It could be a, a, an irradiated lump for a, a, a million, million years. Okay. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm, that. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to see the connection between where we are now, and the and the topic. So the topic of the debate is: Is God evil? Um, Brenda, is your attitude that um, if pre if predestination exists, evil doesn't exist? Uh, right. If 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 every event has a purpose, right, then there can be no events without purpose. And I take simply take an event that ought not to happen to be evil. That's what I take to be evil. Therefore, there can be no evil. Nevertheless, there is evil, right? Therefore, this, this concept of God as having a purpose for everything um, is, is uh, refuted. 
Yeah, you're basically saying mm. what what I am is that if God is yes, powerful yes. and has a plan, then then he is absolutely evil. Otherwise, uh, right. he's not all powerful. If God right? is right, if right, if God is omnipotent, yeah, if, how if, can he? How can God fail to achieve his plan? Unless his plan is yeah, to can make I, us all his suffer, plan is to, if, if I may, if I may, if I think God is to give us. I think that's what. Jim, that's what sorry, I, dude. See, robot, I really can't want. hear you. Oh come on! Your robot, you, dude. Jim, you can't we, hear what you're we saying. We cannot understand what you're saying. Okay, Craig. Ten seconds. Jim, Jim we ten cannot seconds. hear you properly because your microphone is not working. I, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? You, you are me. still roboting slightly. Now? Okay, let's work with. All I'm saying is that. I think we're as a test plan is to give us a test. Jin, Jin you are incomprehensible. Jin, we cannot understand what you're saying. Your microphone is breaking up um, nearly every second syllable. Um, uh, you, you are. I know that you have stuff to say, but we can't hear you. It's just coming out as gibberish. Um, uh, so you know, th there's a there's an audio problem on your end. You need to sort it out. Okay. Um, Incarnation 613 apparently had something to contribute. I've been reading in the chat, but he's been server muted. So Demon Stride, what's the, what's the story on that? Yeah, so if Danny's willing to uh, behave, no, not, not Danny. Go ahead and explain yourself, Danny. Oh. Yeah, okay, well, the go ahead, Incarnation. I, yeah, go go for it. Tell me when you want Danny unmuted. I'll, let, I'll do it. Okay, Incarnation. Yeah, well, Danny, uh, Brenda pretty much touched on, on all I was going to say, but the only thing I'll say is if God is evil, at least he's fair. Because everything that's alive, well, you know, can seemingly kill you, but also save you. So uh, that's really all I have to say on it now. Okay. And can I say something to that? Yeah. Sure. I would disagree with God being fair in that matter because he kills a lot of infants because before they even walk. Uh huh. Like how is that? How is that fair? Hey, humans kill millions even before they're born. Yeah, also true. <laughs> I I, th I think just more my, my point was just to remove the personal human aspect of it and if you want to just look at life in general well the, the mechanics of life are fair for everybody so if he did create life well he created uh, he did a poor job of it but at least he was fair for everyone that's all I was that's all I meant to it I mean I don't I, I, I don't necessarily think he was fair for everyone because um, let's take my uncle for instance who was born with Down syndrome that's not very fair. No, that's why I specifically said, Craig, if you remove the personal aspect of it and you just look on, on a broader sense of life in general, he, he, it's, that's, that's more what I meant. It. Remove the, the personal and, 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 and the human aspect of it and just look at it broader on, on, a life, on, 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 on the spectrum of life, if you will. He, he was fair. I think you're confusing God with nature. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna throw in on that. respectfully, I disagree with your position there. That's fine. Um, if I'm uh, the the counterpoint to incarnation is if God's presence is no different from His absence, then why do we assume His presence? Right. I don't want you to think that I'm uh, that, that that I believe in God here. I was just bringing up a point. That's that's all it is. I'm I'm, I'm not in for the debate. Immersive, it seems like you're having some mic troubles as well. NASA, can you stop interfering, please? We've got this. You don't need to help us. Yeah, just no. turn off the disturber. It'd be fine. No, just... If Karen's in charge of it this week, then I'll just take her away, all right? Right, you, your guys might... You want to give a shot, so. Don? You want to give a shot, Danny, at uh, explaining yourself from before? You said you wanted to explain yourself talk now you hear me yes we can all right all right like i was saying um when i said i was a master of manipulation i didn't mean to say i was a poser i know po is a slang i never heard before but i'm not pretending to be christian 
I believe what I'm saying, but I don't believe it. That's how I am. That's not. That's not necessarily a. No, that's not necessarily. That's not necessarily um, a master of manipulation. Maybe in my own mind, I think I'm mastering my own mind how I think. Because I understand how Christians think, how the Christians I grew up with think, and they're they're out of the norm. They're not the the average Protestant. Like like they 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 have a prophet called Ellen White, and she said, I think she says it, or the Bible says it, that sin will not arise a second time. God didn't create sin; He created Lucifer. Yes, but Lucifer was the first to err. He was the first to break the law. That's what evil is: the transgression of the law. When you break a law in in, in a government. You're, you're, you're doing something wrong, and that's what evil is. Basically, different degrees of right and wrong, of wrong. Different degrees of wrong is what evil is, to, to a lesser or more degree. And God allows the devil to do what he wants to a lesser or more degree. That's all I'm saying. Why? Why does he do that? Why? 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 Because, because he, um, he, no, he, he, he loves you, and he wants, he wants to show you... Can I talk? He wants to show you how he wants to show you how his how his how he gives you free will, and he's even given the devil free will only up to a certain extent. The devil is a oh, madman. So if he could, if he could, he would he would allow he would he would destroy this entire planet in a second, and I have no one more to to to, to murder. I mean to to, to torture. But God doesn't allow him to do it. Do everything he wants. He doesn't allow every human on the planet to do everything they want. That's how a Christian thinks. I mean, I, I okay. disagree with what you're saying there, because God is the one that tried to destroy the planet over like the massive floods, not Satan. And if you look at the Bible, God is the one that killed people, not Satan. So um, if there's anyone that's the good guy in this story, it's, it's Satan. Um, if I may, don't you work planets? We don't live on a planet. I we think do. God, do. God, God, God has murdered the planet. Best God has murdered more people yeah. than the devil ever did. Okay, I, I gotta say, I, no, I, I am, I am speaking, guys. Jin, I've told you this isn't a flat Earth debate. Don't bring that here. Carry on. No, but someone mentioned planets earlier. Just a few seconds. Jin. This isn't a flat Earth debate. Um, you're on Supermoon. You, you know we're back to where we were like two weeks ago. Um, you're not prepared to do what I'm saying. I'm the moderator. You're staying on mute. Um, Don, you were saying something. I don't think so. Or was, was I... it Danny? I explained um, already. I explained already. Yeah. But w uh, I forgot what he said. What FTF he said. It doesn't matter because Danny's a, a po, so. I'm not well, a poser. I'm well, not no, 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 you're not a poser. You're a po. There's a difference. What What is a po? I thought it was just another way to say pretending. Yeah, me, go and Google Poe's Law. It sounds like a modern generation Z slang from poser. That's what it sounds like to me. No, modern generation Z is like talking about getting your riz up and uh, no cap and all that stuff. No, um, yeah, super. Pose Lord, super. Just go Google name calling. You are yeah, a yeah. Pose. Name calling. So just fucking go back to the topic. How's that sound? Yep. Agreed. You know, um, I, I spend a lot of time in apologetic server, Discord servers, and uh, I got to say, I'm surprised with the apologetics in here tonight uh, that no one's actually defended evil with free will. I did. Oh, no, they have tried. They, they've tried. Um, but my answer to that is is simply that, well, God apparently planned everything. Um, so even if he apparently gave us free will, he still planned everything that is actually going to happen. So there was actually never any free will. So God just lied about giving people free will. From God's point of view, he knows the end from the beginning. Yes. And that's that's a form of planning if you know what's going to happen in the future. But he doesn't change the future; he just lets it happen. He is going to kill the evil in the in the second in I mean in um hellfire, but he lets it happen. I think they're trying to say. I think the creationists are maybe trying to say, in my opinion, that God doesn't make the top, but God does spin the top and sees what happens. Maybe you know, or makes the top and and then spins spins it. But yeah. Well, then yeah, God's not sure powerful, they, right? You, he is all-powerful. I just explained it. You didn't hear anything I said, or was I muted? 
Well, no, because you literally said that he didn't plan the things and everything, so he I wasn't said it's a form of plan. It's a form of planning to know the end from the beginning. But he so, doesn't interfere with what he knows. He lets it happen. He knows no what's going to happen. So he, but choos- he, doesn't let so he it happen. chooses to not interfere with the evil stuff. That cool, is so all powerful. To, know, to, know, to be omniscient and all-knowing is all-powerful. You know everything. That's right, all-powerful. Right. Okay, so you know so if, if he's all-powerful, then he's evil. It's simple. No, I just explained it. He allows evil to exist to prove a point yeah, that's to those evil. who aren't omniscient. That's pretty no. fucking evil. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Wait, he hold allows, on. No, stop, allows, stop. Danny, he... stop. Danny, stop. One sec. To allow evil to exist to prove a point is evil. End of story. How? I, I allow he is allowing my... evil to exist. Right, yeah. that you is evil. He could. Are you if he, if, if, so, so it's like Danny. It's if like he wanted to, hold I... on one sec. All right. According to you, he is allowing evil to exist. So if he wanted to, he could not allow it to exist. So he is making the choice for evil to exist. Therefore, yes, he yes. is evil. No, he's not. He is going to destroy evil eventually. But when there's no more righteous people being born, that's when he'll say, call it quits, and it'll be the end. And he'll kill everyone that's evil. But you just admitted that he allows evil to happen. That is You didn't hear what I just said? You didn't hear what I just said? It doesn't matter what happens happens in the future. You said he allows evil to happen. Therefore, he is evil. I just explained why he allows evil to happen. Because he knows some righteous people... It doesn't matter why you he allows why. it to happen. No, no. It doesn't matter why he allows it to happen. If he allows it to happen, he is evil. You asked me why does God allow evil to exist. You asked that question when it first started, and I yeah, explained the answer to you. Is he because un- he's evil. No, because he renders unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Like I told you, what yeah, Jesus said in the New sense. Testament. Yeah. Caesar is an evil dictator, and the devil is an evil dictator, and he shows the devil a certain amount of respect. Yeah. And but again, not, but not, not again, total respect. But again, God allows the evil to happen. He could choose for it that to not happen, right? And it is going to be ceased. He, it is, it is going to no, cease according no, to what it, a Christian it, it believes. It wouldn't need to be ceased at all. It wouldn't need to be ceased because he could choose for it to never have existed. Then that would make you a puppet if he if he controlled you that much and he didn't give you free choice to choose to choose evil or wrong or right. If, he made it, not, so if, 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 right. he, if he's all powerful, then he could also have free will without evil. He's not a tyrant. You're making it sound like a tyrant is the, the, oh. the epitome of all powerful. No, no, I'm saying he's allowing evil to happen when he could choose for it to not happen. Therefore, he's evil. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Right. Let's give you an analogy. Right. Um, there's a train coming down a track. All right. Um, on this track there is someone tied up there is a switch which allows this train to miss that person i have the choice to pull that switch and make that train not hit that person that's tied to that track but i don't make that choice instead i allow that train to run over that person am i evil yes well there well now let's relate that to god God is allowing the evil to happen when he could pull the switch and not make it happen. Therefore, he does he pull the switch. Evil. No, he doesn't. He does pull he, the no, switch. No, he doesn't and because he, evil and he, still exists. And he, and he allowed the person on the train to die. Let's say the person who was pulling the switch was God himself and he didn't pull the switch. That's the God can resurrect that. God can resurrect that person. Or, or he can make it that the person doesn't feel any pain when they die. But he no, knows he the end from the beginning. But he doesn't. Know. He does know. He does. No, 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 He's no, no, no. He doesn't do that, though. He doesn't choose for that person to respawn. And he doesn't choose for that person to feel no pain. What that person the is going to feel. In the vi- the what that in the person, Bible Danny, Danny that. stop, stop, Danny. What that person's going to feel is their body being chopped into pieces as a locomotive runs over them. And it's going to fucking hurt. And God has made the choice for that to happen. That is the stories evil. in the Bible that show that that someone didn't feel pain when they were being persecuted. Stephen was being stoned to death, and he just sat, kneeled there, and prayed up to the sky. That doesn't mean he didn't feel any pain. Buddhists set them. There's Buddhists that have set themselves on fire and just sat there and never screamed out, and all the way until they died. 
and, and there's people that's been anything. and there's people that's been tortured by the catholics during the dark ages that didn't show any pain when they were being burnt at the stake uh, 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 yeah. just because they didn't show pain does not mean they were not in pain if they were having certain things done to their body like being set on fire or being stabbed then their nerves would have reacted in such that they would have felt pain God can do that, you know. It's someone who's so called all powerful can do that. They can make it that has. you don't feel pain. You don't know that. How do you know that? You can't because prove that. Feel, I'm in pain right now. God could be choosing right now to me for have me to not be in pain. God, if, if he God can, is, but you if, don't if God believe in him, you said you would not. No, no, out. I don't believe him. But if God is all powerful, right, and he's omnipotent and he has the ability to do anything, then he could right now decide for my shoulder and my knee to be fixed but Why he doesn't can? he, he doesn't you're not on his doesn't. side you're not on his, you're not on his side and, and he no, 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 on it doesn't under. matter it doesn't matter if i'm on his side or not right yeah so it, it, no no it doesn't uh, right, let, I, me, let me finish you know, right? That... right what what matters is that god is making the actual choice he is deciding consciously to let me be in pain at this very moment in time when he could stop he it. is allowing it he's no. allowing it and he can't stop it but that's he's punishing you evil. that's why that's no, it's evil. not evil you that is he's allowing you power. What, why, okay, gentlemen, why, why am i being punished I be, for what reason gentlemen why? I be, yep sorry right tony's speaking he's a okay he's when a i'm speaking please stop danny um uh -huh. okay um i don't need you to respond i just need you to be quiet when i'm speaking I was letting, um, I'm, I've been letting Danny and Craig interrupt one another, but if other people are going to start getting involved, it's going to descend into a mess. Um, who else wants to speak? Somebody else was trying to get in on this conversation. Who was uh, it? Uh, it was me. I was, just to to, our... I was just trying to uh, reiterate that you, while you say that you know God is allowing it, you go against one of the omnis of God, which is omnibenevolence, right? That he's all good. Um and to allow evil because you said he's allowing it for some reason right but that's allowing evil which goes against the omnibenevolence of god it isn't how he's, is it not going he's not allowing absolute freedom to the devil or those who follow him that's not omnibenevolence okay the okay so according to the bible God wants all of us, all of his creation, to join him in heaven, correct? Yes. Okay. Is God omniscient? Yes, he's all-knowing. Okay. So, me as a non-believer, and since the Bible does state that God knows me before I know myself, right, I'm, before I'm even born, then he would know exactly what it would take for what kind of evidence or whatever it is that I would need to see in order for me to be able to follow him enough to uh, join him in heaven, right? Yes, and he also knows that, that no matter what you hear, you may be biased and not change your mind. I don't but know what he you're he thinking. Already, no, but he already knows, right? He, he, he knows. Already, he knows right, your right. end. No, no, no. It, no, no. You, you, you misunderstand. The omniscience of knowing, he knows regardless of my bias what would allow me to believe and join him in heaven correct yes he knows what would make you be saved but some people just okay. aren't saved because that's their okay. destiny their oh. destiny is fixed awesome. from a human point of view from a human God point of view no is the power to change anything from a human point of view, you have free will, but from God's point of view, your your destiny is fixed. He knows what your end will be. He knows what's going to happen two seconds okay, from now. So then, okay, so then if I am born into the world because of God's will, then I am born to go to hell and not actually join him, which he says uh, he wants all of his creation to join him in heaven, but then now I'm born and destined for hell regardless of what he does that takes out his omnipotence right there you, you can't no, it doesn't the omni paradox yes it does it doesn't take out his omniscience no it's, no, it's omnipotent. still all knowing he knows omnipotent. that he, omnipotent is all powerful so why say no. someone that's not a like mind you're not a like mind so if, you're gonna die no if he what do you mean i like i said in his omniscience he would know exactly what to show me in what way and what how blah 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 
to show me to in order to believe in him and join him in heaven but yet i don't receive that is it because he is incapable which it's is because you is don't choose you have to choose he makes it all he makes everyone predestined oh, predestined oh. doesn't mean fixed it means everyone has the opportunity okay, so to be we, saved oh so we have we have a choice so th this goes to free will and God knows your choice before so, you make it, but He doesn't change the choice. But doesn't that God, shows omni? That shows all powerful. Wait, well, what do you mean? Doesn't that shows God, omnibenevolence, no. like you said. That, He's leaving okay, you I'm alone going to, to choose. Do you I'm not? Know? Tip, I'm sorry. I'm going to step in here. Um, so Solaris is um, presenting a very sophisticated argument, and it seems like Danny, you're just saying no. Um, uh, you're, you're just flatly contradicting him every time he finishes. And the same is true for the arguments that FTFE uh, has presented. Um, and um, I don't think that this is particularly informative or entertaining. Um, you just, when you're, when, you're presented, when you're presented with an extensive argument that shows the inherent contradictions, um, you just reassert those contradictions and it's not advancing the conversation. I am. I'm trying to talk, but then I and then I get into that's you know. So, I asked if Gladclaw wants to. Gladclaw's pretty re religious. Do you have anything you'd like to bring forth for any of the arguments made today? Don't want to call you out. Like you don't have to unmute and talk if you don't want to. Just yeah, you do. <laughs> Sorry for cutting that off, Solaris. I just thought that no. you were making excellent points, and he was just yeah. Um... I mean, it was he was headed down a road of you know uh, the free will argument, which I mean, then he goes, then he has the other problem where God interferes in free will, and he absolutely can't say that God cannot and does not interfere in free will because the Bible specifically has examples of of uh, interfering in free will. Okay. Um, it, are there any are there any other apologists here who'd who'd like to sort of take up the gauntlet? I, I can I can present. So I was okay. I'm going to steal man a little bit here um, as moderator just to push the conversation along. One of the religious arguments that would be made is that what happens in this life, regardless of how much suffering it is regardless of how bad it is, is going to be compensated for in an afterlife. That's a common theological position. How would you counter that, FTFE? Um, Am I allowed to help? Yeah, could, you, could you say it again so I can get that straight in my head? So regardless of how much suffering or, or evil occurs in this life, there is an afterlife. There's, a line, there's an infinitely long afterlife right. afterwards in which um, wrongs will be redressed and people who have suffered will be made whole, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, uh, it's a common theological right. assertion. What would be your counter to that? Um, why is it necessary that we go through the suffering to get that? If if God is all powerful and omniscient and and has the ability to do whatever He wants, then why would we have to initially go through the pain and torture of of life to live an everlasting, peaceful life? Um, couldn't that just be the first thing to do? Um, and if God chooses for us to first suffer for that, then to be readdressed, He is still allowing us to suffer which is an unnecessary thing to put us through and is evil. Well, uh, uh, again, I'm still manning here, and uh, any genuine apologist could free could feel free to um, to step in. But the um, there's a there's a, in my experience, a religious person would say would introduce an element of magical thinking and say, well, God's design in allowing this and the rules that God has to um, has to obey are um, mysterious um, that we can't that we can't under uh, that we can't understand them. Um, uh, it's not a very you know I'm not presenting it in its full strength because I'm not particularly convinced by it. But that's what <laughs> yeah. people might say. I um, understand. Well, uh, you know, no, Tony, I would disagree with you with that one. Okay, go on. Feel free. Um, 
God is not mysterious. He is well known. He is vindictive. He is um, uh -huh. what would you call it? Narcissistic. Oh yeah. Our God is narcissistic, and He That's tells it. it right out. If you do not believe in Me, then by God, I will strike you down. Um, yeah. This these sufferings are because of the facts that we do not believe in Him wholly. Like these Christians, these Catholics these um all other religions prey on these idols prey on these um prayer beads and everything like that and god says right in the bible how dare you pray on items of earth that depict the heavens you sh you shall not do any of these things so why should we ever think that god's going to be kind to us if our own religions um don't even do what he asks of us i, I well, don't agree I... with you there don actually it, it, you what the point you make is is very valid that um you know r the religions don't seem to actually follow what god has told them to do necessarily and that kind of backs up my position that if god is all powerful then how do people have the ability to not do as they're told well god well, is all powerful i under my argument, God is all powerful because He's He's showing His wrath. He's showing us that our own religions can't even follow His own damn words. Well, uh, I would suggest that you you're not actually uh, your understanding of um, religion is not that great. The idea that the Bible is the only word of God or the only revelation from God. Um, is not something that a lot of religious people would accept. A lot of religious people would accept that there have been revelations by God since the authorship of the Bible and that there has been um, modified understanding. So your veneration of sort of uh, elements of the Old Testament and, um, uh, and such like is something that a lot of religious people would not accept. Um, a lot of people would suggest that um, the weight that we need to put on the various portions of the Bible... Um, needs to be changed as um, God reveals more of his message to people. Again, I, I do understand that I'm the moderator here. I am just trying to progress the conversation by tr trying to introduce topics for discussion. I appreciate yep. it. Yep, and I uh, pre uh, appreciate it, but I have to try to make an argument against that. Is no, I'm that's well fine. Versed. I am well versed in religion. I've been baptized in like five different religions. I've studied probably about 20 different religions and i don't believe in none of them because they're man-made right um well i i'm not in a position to comment on that yeah. um i mean right Reli religion and god i i understand that they're two different things okay um you know we don't have to talk about the bible and we we don't have to talk about christianity or catholicism or or Judaism, or you know, they're, they're kind of irrelevant when you're actually discussing God as a whole, right? Be because if God is real, then he created all of those religions anyway. You know, if he's got everything planned out, then he planned for all of those different religions to exist, whether those or religions he, or he allowed or them or he allowed them to fester. Well, that's the same thing. Uh, you know, but uh, well, well, I'm going on on the the presupposition here that God pre-planned everything. Everything is predetermined as God's will. You know, whatever happens is God's will. So, if, if it's God's will, then God willed all these different religions to to exist, and you know that kind of makes the religions irrelevant. What what's important is what's actually happened in 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 the universe. And in the world, well, yeah, because... in the world that we live in, right? The world that we live in, it's it's undeniable that the world that we live in is full of suffering and pain, right? We all agree on that, right? Well, yeah, um, it's just like the argument that I'm going to say right now is everybody in the world, like you read the scriptures and everything, everybody in the world spoke the same language. They built a tower to smite God and to try. I it was a king. I can't remember his name right now, but they tried to build a tower up to the heavens to attack God. God then created a cataclysm and then he spread the religion or the people apart and made them speak different languages so they could never rebel against him like that again. 
And those are in the script. And then Google Translate happened. That is literally Don Pettit. What's that? Google Translate? No, actually, no, because I'm not even Googling nothing right now. I am actually no, no, playing I'm, I'm, I'm just right saying now. that if God separated us by languages, then um, Google Translate's kind of screwed that plan up. Well, yeah. Technically, yeah. you would so, consider uh, Google Translate, but then again, Google Translate does not translate very well in Chinese because I've spoken to some Chinese to some Chinese friends, and they're like, "What the hell are you trying to say?" Have you used the the, the beta real time, the new one? Because it's absolutely fucking fantastic. No, I haven't yet. It's it, the, the the it's running on a large language model that kind of predicts what they're saying and does it really really well. But anyway, um, it's about two hours in, uh, and this has been a, a very heated discussion. Um, and I, I think I'm going to call it a night before I shout at any more people. <laughs> um, and, oh, well, your argument right there, FT, about the Google Translate and everything, are it was, it was we more of a joke. seeing, yes, but are we seeing the worlds <laughs> come into a cataclysm because everybody is now speaking the same language as they did thousands and thousands of years ago. It's definitely true that the internet has made the world stupider. Um, the opposite of what was possible. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Right. But anyway, but, uh, um, thank I, yeah, I just, I, I didn't mean to interrupt there, but I, I just want to apologize to anyone that I have berated. Um, please understand I'm coming from a place of emotion at the moment. And um, this is, for me, and uh, you know, with the things that I've gone through in my life and my family, it's kind of an emotionally charged subject. So, it, it was, you know, it was going to be a heated discussion. Um, Tony, I very much appreciate your efforts to keep this on track, and to you know, you were right to mute me with the times that you did. Um, uh, and and to my people watching, um, please understand that Tony is actually really, really helpful. Uh, in these situations in making the conversation advance which is important i can get bogged down on stupid little things and get angry about it tony is brilliant at doing this to help the conversation advance um i can understand why some of you can see why his moderation can be jarring be because you're used to watching me just go rah okay but you have to agree that when tony does his moderation the way he is the conversation actually advances and I appreciate that. Um, and to, de to demonstrate, um, again, apologies for the, the, the delays in getting this stream done. And thank you for allowing me to come here and shout at people on your server. <laughs> yeah, anytime. And uh, for everyone uh, watching, don't uh, don't miss out. Join. Uh, click on the links and join the Discord and subscribe to the YouTube. And uh, don't miss out on your chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Details awesome. are in the channel description. Um, have you done the uh, the Kerbal thing yet? Uh, we're still do. We're gonna actually do the final one of the final races right after this. Oh. Uh, we had uh, a couple people compete last night, and it was pretty hectic, kind of hairy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. Solaris is one of our last runner up. Uh, there's still time though. If anyone's got uh, <clears throat> you know a, a craft built and it and it doesn't break the rules, go ahead and join. I was gonna do it, but then I got addicted to Diablo instead. Yeah, well, all right, well, Diablo 4 or Diablo 2 Resurrected? Because I'll Diablo take your ear off right of Diablo now. 2. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. To be honest, Diablo 4 is my first Diablo game, um, and I'm totally, well, oh my totally God. on board. <laughs> if, yeah, you change, if, you, if you change your mind, Craig, there's still time to slap together a craft and do a, do a run. Oh, sound, sounds fun, but um, I have to sleep at some point, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, we, uh, we did it for... We did it for around five hours last night. That was kind of fun. We had, what is it, three people already run? Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, and Tony, thank you very much. And um, Dimitri, right, thank you. Um, and next, well, what, what are we on? What's it today? Saturday. So I can come back Monday if you want and we get back on schedule. Absolutely. Are we going to do uh, back to Flat Earth on Monday or you want to yeah, stick with yeah, God? Uh, no, yeah. let's, um, <laughs> I can probably be a little less angry with Flat Earth. So we go with that. <laughs> <laughs> That works. And I hope you find peace with yourself, Flat. Oh. I'll do me best. I'll do me best. Right, thank you, guys. I'll speak to you all later. Well, uh, that was um, <laughs> fun. Oh, my goodness me. I have had an incredibly um, hard time lately. Um, 
so yeah I, I'm in pain all of the time I'm dealing with the fact that I'm gonna be losing my leg which is you know it's a mind fuck it's somewhat hard to deal with um you know and I I struggle with these things and it gives me mental health issues and um I'm generally on emotional tender hooks as it is um and even though I'd been preparing myself to lose Cookie because she'd been ill for a while when, you know, that moment that, that Emma came through and was like, she's gone, um, it, it broke me a little bit because uh, I've had her for 18 years and um, you know, just for her to not be there anymore is <laughs> it's 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 a bit I feel like a bit of me is gone um, I'm so used to this cat being part of my life um, and I, I didn't know how to process her not being there anymore um, I found this even harder than when I, when I lost Rufus uh, you know I had her from a little kitten and she was the first you know her and her sister were the first things that my wife and I, you know, gave life and it, it broke me a little bit. So, um, I'm sorry that I had to take a few days off, but, uh, it, I, you know, if, if you're a, if you're a pet owner, I'm, I'm sure you understand. Um, and, and I appreciate the support. Oh, it's hard it really is every, every day i wake up expect you know looking down at the spot where she normally is and she's not there anymore and um it's part of me is gone <laughs> uh so today today was the first day back after um kind of having a bit of an emotional freak out about it all and uh it's uh <laughs> you know a charged topic even more so than flat earth i guess um because, you know, if God is real, and I don't think he is real, but if he is real, then, you know, fuck you. <laughs> Absolutely fuck you. Um, if, if, if God is real, then I, I would never bow down and worship uh, a, a mean, um, capricious, petty, sadistic, jealous asshole. And I, I don't understand the people that worship him like that i mean i've got a lot of friends that are christians and stuff and all my friends that are christians uh they're they're, they're smart people in the sense that they get angry at god you know they understand that if if that they're the person they, they they worship is fucking treated them like shit and you know god isn't good if he's real and he's not real he can't be because there's too much evil in this world. So anyway, um, thank you for being here for for my emotional freak out. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, like you guys are better than any therapist, honestly. I, I actually saved like loads of money having you guys to talk to instead of an actual therapist. <laughs> Oh man. Um, yeah. So uh, thank you to Tony. Uh, really, really thank you to Tony there. I appreciate because um, <laughs> without someone there to keep me in in check today, it would have been just me shouting. So <laughs> a massive level of support as always. We peaked at over five hundred people watching. Um, I've got one hundred and twelve new members. <clears throat> Siggy, you, you madman, you. I got even more super chats coming in. Uh, I guess I'm not allowed to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> NA, NA for $6.66. Hail Sagan. Says, I'm pretty sure FTFE is a NASA AI bot. Wake up, people. That's top fucking secret. Everyone thinks I'm a clone. But I'm actually a bot. I'm not even real. This is just, like, fake. There's no FTFE. I'm just computer generated. <laughs> Pitt, member for 28 months, says FTFE bringing the stupid. Well, no, I'm fighting the stupid, but I know what you mean. Stringer News 152 dollars says no pictures of Flat Earth from space today. What are you on about? There's there's always pictures of, of Flat Earth from space, right? Just just look. 
Turtles, all the way down. The spirit for five dollars says, "If God is real, He's either all knowing and all powerful, but doesn't care about you, or He is neither all powerful or all knowing." Yeah, because God's a fucking asshole if He's real. Thank you. Oh my God, guys, thank you so much. This is an incredible level of support. <laughs> yeah, Alter Ego, that's right. I am just a figment of your imagination. You're all just dreaming me right now. What if just one of you is real, and me and the rest of chat are just in your dreams? Have you ever thought about that? What if PhD Tony only exists in your dreams? Have you ever thought about that? Right? You just keep having this dream where I'm real, and PhD Tony's real, and, you know, but... You're just dreaming. Just just you. Yeah, you. Oh my goodness. I should sleep more. Um, the spirit for five dollars says oh no, just read that one. War boss member for five months says, if God is all knowing, then nothing can happen that God does not want. God wants our suffering and death, all for some sick, pointless test. Evil God. Yes! Evil God. Let's uh let's stop the poll. The poll was who would win in the fight? FTFE God or Turtles are pretty cool, huh? Um, well, Turtles are cool, so we'll just ignore that. But uh, apart from that, 33% think that I'd win and 10% think God would win. 10% of you have little faith in me, right? God would need backup. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stop dreaming about me, guys. It's bad for your health. Siggy Sigweld for a thousand ARSs. Dude, thank you so much. Um, like, <laughs> you don't know how much your support means to me, honestly. All of you. But Siggy says, we're going to bring uh, Epicurus into this and just use his reasoning. If God is unable to prevent evil, then he is not all powerful. If God is not willing to prevent evil, then he is not all good. If God is both willing and able to prevent evil, then why does evil exist? <laughs> hey, Rachie, I love that you remember. <laughs> Yes, Siggy. absolutely. fucking lootly. And then Siggy Sigweld gifted 50 memberships, right? So if you became a member today and you didn't do it yourself, say thank you to Siggy in the chat. And then Siggy, who's himself been a member for 21 months, says, Oprah was here. <laughs> you get a membership. You get a membership. You all get a membership. MB for £5 says, either way, not worthy of attention, even less so of worship. Just an excuse for hatred and indifference. Yeah. I'm serious. God, if you're real, fuck you. I will never worship you. I'm just swearing at my upstairs neighbours at this point. <laughs> Stringer News 1 for $2 says, There's a typo, FTFE. God created s Satin, not Satan. <laughs> uh, Siggy Sigweld for 666 ARSs. Thank you. There's no way to logically claim at the same time that God is good while saying he created evil and allows evil things to happen. Absolutely. fucking lootly The soldier's been a member for eight months and he says, God is a meanie. Hail Santa. <laughs> Pardon me. Twitch, been a member for three months, says, Craig is the man. Well, I'm definitely a man. Um, I don't know if I'm the man, but thank you very much. The spirit, five dollars, in their defense, if there is no good, there is no evil. Without the opposite, there is only indifference. I mean, I disagree. Per um, respectfully, because... Um, in the universe we exist in, yes, there there's no good with, you know, you can't have evil without good. But that's in the universe we exist in. If God's all-powerful, he could just create a universe where good exists without evil. But, you know, he's just not willing to do that for some reason. Asshole. And then Siggy Sigwell does his best Oprah impression once again for another 50 memberships. So, again, if you became a member whilst watching this stream, say thank you to Siggy. Mr. E-Man also gifted 10 memberships. So maybe it was Mr. E-Man. So guys, thank you very much. Honestly, it's 112 new members today. It's insane. Warboss, 20 Canadian dollars. Thank you very much, you awesome orc. God creates Satan knowing he rebel because he knows everything. God could have made a loyal Satan, but chose not to. God's a sick monster, unworthy of worship. Want help crumping this God? Let's punch it. Yeah. When I go to heaven to fight God, I'm taking the orcs with me. Stringer News 1 for two uh, for five dollars. Thank you very much, buddy. If God is all powerful, why would he create a universe to please you? Um because he should. I should be pleased all the time. 
Lord Luminous Poo for five dollars. If there is evil in heaven, then God can create a place with no evil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If heaven has no evil, then God's absolutely able to create a place with no evil, but he just chooses not to. Dick. String news one for two dollars. My religion is the bestest. Your religion sucks. Well, my religion is the bestest because in my religion, um, pastafarianism, the my god, the flying spaghetti monster, didn't take a pathetic seven days to create the universe. He did it in five days. Not only did he do it in five days, but he did it in five days whilst drinking heavily. String of news one just read that Siggy Sigweld for another six hundred and sixty six ARSs, dude. Uh, since this whole debate is nonsense because God doesn't exist, I just want to say I've got a laptop stand and my life has improved greatly. How's the weather over there? Oh, and hail Sagan. Uh, weather. Interesting, right? In June, I was complaining to you guys about how hot it was. <coughs> July, however, has been fucking terrible. It's literally rained the entire time. <coughs> Excuse me. Went on holiday at the end of June. And the day we went on holiday, it started raining and hasn't stopped since. So I guess it's my fault. <laughs> wow. I can't believe the amount of support I'm getting tonight. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Stringers one for two dollars says, so much real anger for a god that doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm more angry at the apologists, I guess. Or just angry at the universe. Just angry at the world. I'm just, I'm, not, I'm angry. I'm like the Hulk, dude. I'm just always angry. Craig Smash. Uh, the spirit for five dollars says, "Killing." All this light's flashing. Uh, for five dollars says, "Killing tens of thousands of people is an evil act, no matter what side of good or evil you claim to be. There's always actions that are deemed evil." Yeah, I could not believe that person was saying raping someone isn't evil. Boo. Pronoun 1990. Pronoun 1990. Not fucking pronoun. Great. Remember for 17 months and says, take a chill pill, dude. God, not all evil in my eye. I mean, dude, if he exists, he has to be evil. Yeah, he's done some good, but a lot of fucking evil. Uh, Patriot 7 for $5. Says, uh, probability dictates inevitability. Multiverse theory or not, odds of a god appearing goes up over time. Appearing anytime, omnipotence implies always. Yeah, yeah. No god. God no real. Peter must prime for $5 Australian says, I'm sorry about you losing your cat. It must be a hard time for you. I'm still dealing with the loss of my cat. So sad. Yeah, um, it's very hard. I mean, I do have this little man to, to help me, I guess. My, my, my new family member. The silly little puppy. Commander Riker. But yeah, it was very, very, very hard to lose Cookie. <sighs> um, Paul Stegermain gifted one membership. Thank you very much, Paul. So if you got a membership today from Paul, say thank you very much to Paul. And Siggy Sigwald for another 666 ARSs. I'm going to buy my wife a dress and say it's from you, dude. So people who does harm to others is not evil. It's just less good than people who do not experience pleasure in the suffering of others. Did, did I get that right? Did this person ever read any philosophy at all? No, most of them never read. That's the problem. Or they only read the Bible. Dawnbreaker became a new member. Welcome to Scrappers. Thank you very much. That's 112 new members. Guys, insane. Um... Like, I think the record is like 220 new members in a stream uh, and like that that's mental and 112 new members is is stupidly insane like you Siggy all you guys that m m I love you so fucking much Lord Luminous Poo five dollars if human death equals murder and murder bad why stone disruly children at the edge of town because <laughs> Bible stupid Stephen York, seven ninety nine Australian dollars. I love you, Craig, and what you do, but you devolving into this typical flat earther attitude is impossible to continue watching. What do you mean? Um, what typical flat earther attitude are you on about? I, I don't have a flat earther attitude. Um, I, I have my very reasonable attitude with stupidity. Um, I'm sorry, Stephen, if, if you don't like the way that I, I do what I do, but 
I do what I do for a reason. I very much appreciate the support, though. I really do. So thank you very much. Lord of the Most Proof for $5 says, Jesus, or Yeshua, is Hebrew for Joshua. The term Christ translates to the Anointed One. I will hence force refer, refer to him by his real name, Oily Josh. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Eon Dust for $5 Australian. Even if a god doesn't perform the evil act itself, but allows the act to happen when it has the ability to stop it, it still makes that god evil. Amen. String is one for $5. The argument that God created people, so he's the only one responsible for the dumb things that people do, is half-baked at best. Come on, atheists. I mean, is it, though? Is it? Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate the support. Lord of Luna's Poo, $5. Auras are real. They just happen to come from rocks that will unzip the molecular bonds of your intestines. Okay, then. And for $5, he says, I'm an agnostic, apathetic atheist. I don't know and I don't care, but I don't think there's a God. Oh. Uh, um, Warboss for 10 Canadian says, Craig, you touched an orc's heart today. Made me feel fierce. You inspire us stronger, wiser, kinder, and more real than any God. Crushing git apologists. Gods are zogging squigheads. I love you, orcs. Tim Pryor for $5. I have to say it. Craig was being quiet. The other guy would not shut up. Sorry, Tony, but you should have been paying attention. Um, Tony was, was fair. Um, like I said, I understand why it can seem jarring. But he's doing a good job. Um, and it stops me getting stuck on those little bits that I don't need to. Uh, and let's give Tony his props, right? Um, we know Tony is Cracker Tony. Uh, and and Tony can have a tendency to explode. So the fact that he is attempting to to moderate the way he is 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 brilliant. Um, and I love what he's doing. But also remember that it's a learning curve for Tony as well. Um, and as he mods more, he will get better and better at what he does. You're never an expert in something until you've done it for at least a thousand hours. I've done way more than a thousand hours of these streams. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking to flat earthers. That's 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 worrying. Stringer News one for five dollars. Whoa, atheism is so much like flat earth. You both have zero to support your claims and only talk about what's wrong with the other side. Sarcasm, lovely. Five dollars for Tim Pryor says, in other words, Craig has every right to interrupt. Sometimes. Lord Lewis Poo, five dollars. Nah, Tony, it's not you. You're trying to herd cats. It will never go smoothly. We love our cracker, Tony. And then for $10, he says, he's all-knowing. He knows what would convince me he's all-powerful. He can make whatever would convince me appear. He's all-loving, so he wants to convince me. Why am I not convinced? Because God's not real. If God's real right now, stop the stream. Come on, God. Do it. Cut the stream off right... Wait, hold on. No. <laughs> no, my internet's still up. I was just checking. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, so many super chats and I've just skipped forward loads. Warboss5 Canadian Dollars says, God hardened the Pharaoh's heart so we could punish the Egyptian people. God is a zogging git. End of story. Fucking A. Eon Dust, $5. Australian, God hardened Pharaoh's hearts despite it going against his own people. Why? Just to make the show more interesting? What a shit. Yeah, exactly. Warboss and Eon Dust have got it right. PhD Tony, whoop, whoop, the only real man in the room, says for $10 Australian, terrific job, Craig. Well done. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Um, I really do. Your opinion means a lot to me. So thank you. Eon Dust for $2 Australian says, someone needs to hold your leash, FTFE. <laughs> yeah, that's why I've been married for so long. Oh, I need a haircut. Jesus, just noticed that. I'll get one this weekend. Wait, it's the weekend. I'll get one soon. My mohawk's going out of fat, out, out of, it's out of control. Eon Dust for $2 Australian. No, I just read that one. Nathan Bishop, $5. Here's $5 in your late cat's honor. Oh, thank you. I'll have a drink to cookie. Cookalicious. <laughs> Emma, Emma wanted to name her Cookalicious, right? And um, when I took her to the vets, uh, I was like, well, this one's Esmeralda and this one's Cookalicious. Uh, and the vet looked at me and was like, what? Cookalicious. And she went, that won't fit in the in the name thing. And I was like, oh, right, okay, just put cookie. I think it would have fitted, but she just didn't want to write it. 
<laughs> Turing Test 2 for £20. Thank you very much. It says, your logic is sound, Craig. God's not real. Can't argue with that. Um, Regerd for $10 says, I believe one problem is that God, a spirit, was given very limited human characteristics, anthropomorphism, early on by men with their own limitations. Religious people are simply stuck with it. Yeah, right. So God and all religion and all sky spirits, it's just humans trying to explain the world, right? Back in the day when we didn't have science, we explained it by magic and gods. And for some reason, some people just can't let go of that. Um, GG81 for six euro says, just lost my cat 17 years, two weeks ago. I feel your pain. Our fur babies are hard for us to, leave, to lose. If, if you've got a fur baby, you know what I'm on about. Rachie, who's been a member for one month, says, shout out to God. Hey, Rachie, we need another chat. Thank you very much. And Justin Stewart, $5. If God is all powerful and creates a stone he can't destroy, then is he all powerful? No. Just he's not real. So <laughs> Tater Pants for $5. Good and evil are no match for the potato. That's true. Potatoes win, hands down. Lord Illumis Proof for $5 says, when you take on God, the Illuminati will stand with you. I don't need backup, but I appreciate it. God will need backup. Uh, Fred Fuckle for $5 says, if you ever get to America, come visit us where Route 66 started in Chicago. The Windy City loves you, man. Thank you very much to the Windy City. I love you all too. Uh, Warboss 5 Canadian Dollar says, I will tell the boys we're marching on Evan with FTFE. Best war ever! <laughs> right. Someone find me a comic book artist and just write FTFE versus God, the story. That sounds fun. String News 1 for $5 says, if you can't create a utopia for yourself, don't blame God for not doing it either. I mean, but God could have done it, right? Uh, the Spirit for $5 says, it's not that he's unwilling, it's that Spawn killed God and remade the universe without the controlling dictate. <laughs> Damn it, Spawn! Uh, Alter Ego 5 Canadian Dollars says, I'm with George Carlin on the God debate. I worship the sun. I pray to Joe Prosecchi. <laughs> Joe Pesky. Yeah. Rachebot, $2 uh, Australian with a super chick emote. Thank you very much, Rachebot. I'm glad I programmed you. Oh, no, it's Andy for £2. Says, Craig sending parts from the head to kick God's bum. <laughs> yeah, my legs get in there first, bitch. PhD Tony, $5 Australian says, still got a lot to learn as a mod. We've all got a lot to learn about everything, Tony. Never stop learning. What's the point? Always become better at what you do. But I appreciate what you do. Lovebot for uh, 4.99 says, Who needs God? In my Discord server, we follow Deronism. We don't need he died for your sins. We got he's Duron. Just the Church of Duronism. Join the Church of Duronism today. Just do it. And the Copper in Quarter for $2 Canadian says, If the world is evil, are we evil for having children? I mean... If the world, if God's real, then then yeah, we shouldn't kind of do that. But God's not real, so we decide our fate. Uh, and then the final one from Joe Ellis. And this is the first super chat that Joe Ellis has ever sent. Joe, I am so honoured that you let me pop your super chat cherry. Um, he says, hey Craig, big fanboy from Birmingham, UK. I'm on my stag do at the moment in Liverpool. You're a legend. I'm so sorry to hear about your cat dying. Dude, what are you doing watching YouTube on your stag do? <laughs> uh, hello to Joe Stagdu. Hey. <gasps> oh, Joe, um, y your best man is uh, is letting you down if you've got time to be on YouTube on your Stagdu, mate. Seriously. You should be, like, drunk as a fucking skunk. Like, you know, naked somewhere tied up. If, you know, your best man needs to sort that out. But thank you, Joe. I appreciate you being here. Guys, um... Thanks for being here today. I reckon I maybe have lost a few subscribers from this stream. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I needed to vent. And this actually fucking helped. Um, and as a reward for you guys being here, you know what they say, right? Is that, uh, can we just pretend that, you know, airplanes in the night sky are, are, are shooting stars? And thanks to Chris Darren for doing this, by the way. We pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars. Sorry, love, but I'm used to some pronouncing brain stuff. Right now, brain right now, brain right now. Good morning. These words come with a storm. Watch her, five dollars. Get a band down the hatches, grab some matches, and brace yourself. 
for a long day of misery. YouTube has given me the power to reach up into the sky and show you all that we live on the ball. I bring you science that's comprehensible. Your view is indefensible. You're reprehensible. <laughs> when I was young, I never thought I would be here to see this. A pile of random monsters Thank dressed you, up Bruce Bruce Bruce. Bruce. Appreciate it. Your ignorance will be the death of us all. Like running head first, full speed into a wall. You could always read a book by a telescope, set it up and take a photo of the moon or just be a buffoon. I sent you in a balloon onto the stratosphere of page three. You're a few fries short of a happy meal. You're dumber than a box of hair. The wheel's spinning but the hamster's dead and you're as smart as bait. You forgot to pay your brain bill. You're missing a few buttons on the remote control. 24 cents short of a quarter. You're surfing in Nebraska You're as bright as Alaska in December And you fell out of your family tree You don't have all the cornflakes in one box You got an IQ of two and it takes three to grunt The elevator doesn't go all the way up And there's a vacancy on the top floor Your antenna doesn't pick up all the channels You're several nuts short of a fruit cake Yo Mr. Sensible, calm down, don't go too hard You don't need the Hasselberian flubs in your backyard You're a man of science Pies and grace, mage two did everything to wipe the grins off the face. So Nathan, Nathan, get away from those kids. The world is not flat and it doesn't have a lip. Recognize the differences between the textbook and the Bible and control yourself. Lay off your slander and your lie. You're a bunch of knobs poisoning the well of the youth. Spreading lies that you like to claim as knowledge and truth. Stop spreading fresh bullshit like the butter on your bread. Maybe your musical assault knocks some sense into your head. I hope one day you'll hear these lyrics and smile. And you realize you used to be a 40 year old child. Now it's time to wake up, open your eyes and see. And acknowledge the existence. You're a few clowns short of a circus Your phone is off the hook Your sewing machine is out of thread You're on foam and no beer You don't have all your dogs on one leash Your intellect rivaled only by garden tools There's no grain in your silo And your skylight leaks a little Your belt doesn't go through all the loops You couldn't pour water out of a boot Without instructions on the hill Your slinky's kinked And you're proof that evolution Can work in reverse A few feathers short of a whole duck One fruit short of a whole bowl We're looking at airplanes bowl. in the night sky I like shooting stars Should be wishing for a brain right now Thought it was over? Well, I'm still standing Ooh. where you swing and fling and feces talking shit just like Sensible. the human centipede. You've got the mind of a chip, and I'm here to expedite your shore leave. Because I'm a seaman, but not the kind I writ up on your mom's gums. I'm the kind that sailed submarines and fired guns. I could float a boat across the ocean with my eyes closed. So I could navigate the globe with a compass and a bag of sausage rolls. Well, all you can do is nibble on your toes. I smack you with the hose that you call the water level, sit and swivel. You nasal gaze in Muppet, you can stuff it harder than the wallet stuffed by Warren Buffett. And I don't care about your sources unless you're serving them. And I don't care about your lines unless you're curving them. A step away from me, you're sucking up my oxygen with the vacuum where your brain should be, you dumb fuck. Well, that was a uh, a fun stream. Um, so tomorrow um, at 8 p.m. UK time, uh, I will be hosting a lecture by Professor Philip Bell, um, who's going to be giving Flatsoid a thermodynamics lecture. <clears throat> Everyone needs to bring a paper and pen because there will be examples that we have to take part in. Um, and then at midnight, I'll be joining the asylum. Because I hate myself, I guess. And then Monday, I'll be back in MMM. Because I hate myself, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for a wonderful night. Uh, I, I love you all. Not not you, Gary. Definitely, definitely not you, Gary. I've lost my outro. There it is. Why'd you move? Uh, I'll see you all real soon. Um, thank you for being here with me tonight and thank you for the incredible level of support you guys have shown. It's like literally mind-blowing. Remember that stupidity is not a right. Fight the flyer. Fight the flyer. Fight the flyer. Fight the flyer. Fight the fight the fight. Fight the flyer. 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 Fight the fight the fight. Fight the flyer. Fight the flyer. Fight the flyer. Fight the flyer.
fight the flock, fight the flock, fight the fight the fight the fight the flock, fight the flock. 